and the uniques return. Um, they did some stuff in the arena. We don't know how that went yet. <laughs> I can't believe we made so much money. But uh, yeah, now is something. I don't know what's happening. So time skip. Yep. Nah, nah, nah. The next morning. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tia. It's it Tia. I will be Tia. She has all of her spell spots slots back, technically. Yes. Go, go ahead and prepare your spells. Oh shit! I should probably. I'm at full health. I've used one. Yeah, you you two need to take mark screenshots. Down all your... Take screenshots of stuff you would have used and like save it on your computer somewhere. Yeah, your current hit points, hit die, key points, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Tia won't be able to cast any more spells afterwards, so I think it's safe to say that I uh, could just swap out her spells freely. Um, well, I mean, if they go down in the last fight, they might need to be. Yeah. What do you mean if they go down? They clearly did well. We don't as know, of, actually. We refuse to talk about it. As of before the final fight, my health was full, my key is at half, and I have 85 remaining bullet. I have zero healing lights, one hit die down, full health, uh, out of spell slots to the first level, one spell slot remaining at fourth. Would Tia would have gotten any residual EXP for healing throughout all these fights? Yeah, yeah, Tia, Tia is getting XP. Oh, okay, well, how much? Because that's important. Um, well, it depends on that last fight. Uh, give me a second and I'll tell you. All right. I hadn't DM. worked it out because I was gonna, I was gonna work it all out at once. No, you're good. Just DM it to me and I can put it on her sheet. And we're if, it, lose. We're equ lose. if it, if it equates a level up, then I'll tell her she has to do it. And I can't use my amulet of the drunkard again. It's the next day. No, oh, you well, mean now, like now for tomorrow? Yeah. For for the yeah for the fight. For, yeah, for for yesterday. Yeah, for yesterday. All right, for I, yesterday I, for the final fight, I can't use that again. All right, I prepared her spells. Ah. In hindsight, I probably should have saved that for later, but that's fine. Let me do that. Do what you can, don't worry about it. Wait. Hmm. Why didn't I think of that? We could use, like, literally anything that isn't magic, yeah? In the fight? Yeah. No. Yes, well, you couldn't, you couldn't do any healing. Right, right, right. But, like... Oh, 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 well, so like we could cast spells, or no? You yeah. can cast spells as long as they're not healing spells. Yeah, I was casting spells. Right, yeah. right, right, you were, yes. Okay, so... <laughs> I have an idea for what I'm going to do for the final fight now. Anthony, just, uh... Okay, I'm DMing it to you. Okay. I know precisely what I'm going to do. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me do math real quick. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was wrong. Oh. I I missed a number. There we go. So um I would say let her do the level up in case well, I don't know if that level has choices. Uh twelve? It might have something. I think it's an ability score increase. I believe it uh, is. Because yeah, so everyone... I'd, I'd say let let her do it, and we'll just pretend she hasn't leveled up yet. Oh yeah, she would have definitely. Yep. Uh, she has more XP than Loki. Well, I mean, Loki's also getting XP from the fight. 
Yeah, so just just ignore I'm gonna delete that. Don't don't um because I, I feel like she should she should make those choices. <laughs> yeah, no, I I'm not gonna level her up. I don't remember the number she was at before. Okay, yes I do because it's saved in my calculator. I'm just gonna write that in parentheses on her sheet somewhere. Yeah. But yeah, you wake up the next morning in um I burp. Uh feeling the effects of the the party last night. Oh, there was a party. That bodes well, right? Right? Well, right. party. Whether it was a pity party or a celebration party, unsure. We'll find out next session. We'll find out next session. Oh, no. <laughs> did we drown our sorrows in drink, or did we drink to our victory? <laughs> Who can say? Tune in next week. <laughs> yeah. Um, you wake up at the house that you were staying at that... Um, Syndra's water deep house. So I guess we're going to start looking into those disappearances, right? While we wait for the council. <clears throat> right, right. Um, remind me who was disappearing again? It wasn't Dragonborn, was it? No, well, yes, but uh, the, the the new cultists, the, the end of the world cultists, um, no one really knew who they were, but they had a very specific way of speaking that we could probably check in with the taverns and see if they know uh, of any cl uh, regular clientele that uh, they're speaking that way. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can find them. Start going on a little adventure. Morgan heard asking around taverns and he was sold. Oh yeah, definitely. 100%. <laughs> that's, that's my preferred terrain. Yeah. I have advantage on investigation checks while in alcohol-laden place. No. <laughs> it would be such a niche. Write that down. Write that down. Imagine so, that one. That... <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like literally like specifically an alcoholic related like either background or like feet. Yeah, it's a it's a half feet. You get plus one to charisma and <laughs> and an advantage on all investigation uh, based checks while in uh, any place that holds large quantities of alcohol or, so... or pe around or against people with. Um, that are deeply inebriated. Yes, yeah, or that. Yep. Alright. So you begin... Uh, I'll post the... the link to the Waterdeep map again. Waterdeep map, too big, load in... Uh, load in roll 20. At any decent resolution. Bad. Uh, you begin going around to various taverns. Are y'all going together or splitting up? I'd go with them. And I think Probably go would together. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, so everyone, go ahead and roll me two investigation checks each. Okay. I will have help be... from Andromeda. These will be Loki's. Well, it's it's group checks is how I'm doing it. So okay. they get uh... Andromeda would roll as well. And I'm going to turn. Okay, That's the, the, the nameplate thing is on for Tia, so you'll see that it's her rolls despite Loki rolling. And okay. here is Andromeda's. Two fives, wow. Does she have proficiency in investigation? She does not. Oh, um, investigation? Yeah, I could do that. Ooh. Yes, please. 20 from Andromeda. Very good. Excuse me. That should not be an advantage. So, and that one? 
Yeah. And um, yeah, that's pretty par for the course for Morgan. Of course, Loki out here carrying the group besides Andromeda. Well, yeah, even I'll, then, I'll even say then. with um, I'd say with Observant, she can probably take her passive because of Observant on this. I don't know. Oh, Tia. Uh, no, passive doesn't really make sense for this, I guess. No, practically looking though. Yeah. Even then, uh, it'd just be a 12, I believe, for passive. No, it'd be a 17 because of Observant. Uh, yeah, 17, so even then. I don't know if that makes that much of a difference. Oh, ignore that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're in combat already? No, I, I, I was... I'm trying to find the thing that lets it turn off advantage for... Imps. It's oh. in the gear. Yeah, in the gear. I've looked like in towards the, the gear. Uh, Beck, uh, towards the bottom before it becomes the character sheet, it should have like a bunch of options. Always for okay. GM. Yeah, query advantage. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, you. It. Uh, you. You end up having to go a couple different places before you find someone either that knows what you're talking about or is willing to talk about it. You're not really sure which of those two ways you're failing to find the information. Um, but after the fourth place, um, probably about two hours in until asking around, you do find someone that knows what you, knows the people you are talking about. And... Uh, which one is it? Um, uh, yes, I, I, I remember hearing people like what you're talking about, um, uh, talking around town. Any of them, like, regular clientele? Um, and this would just be, like, a patron that's talking to you. Oh, yeah, but, uh, anyone that you know. I thought, I thought like, the bartender. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so, I, sorry, I should have, I should have specified. Um, no one I knew personally, I mean, I would seen two of them around the city before, but, I mean, it's a it's a big city. I didn't really know them. I just kind of recognized them, you know? Where else have you seen them? Oh, over the years. I, I remember having a brief encounter with them a few years ago at the Field of Triumph, and the other one I happen to remember, they uh they helped me one time at the, the market when I... Um, had had dropped my my purchases. They helped me collect them back up. Did they? They. You say a couple of years, um, and these seem like they must have been rather distinct. If uh, you're able to remember them years later, I mean, just just um. The the market one. I was in a bad place at the time, shall we say? So the help kind of stuck with me. Do you know can you describe them for us? Those um, they were a gnome a gnome male, um long dark hair, uh Uh, I have to pull up the gnome gnome age thing. Gnomes are old. Yeah, I That's think it. they go to like nine hundred years. Uh, three fifty to five hundred. Oh fuck! Fuck! I was for some reason I was applying elven age. Elves are like what nine fifty by D and D standards. Uh, seven seven hundred seven fifty. One of the two. It definitely starts with a seven. <laughs> They'd have been like a 
I don't know, I'm not good with with ages of gnomes, to be perfectly honest, but I guess like a hundred or so. Long dark hair, male, about a hundred or so. Um, they they didn't seem as um jovial this when I saw heard them talking like this um here recently. More in a stark contrast to previously. I I don't know if I'd say stark, but definitely definitely different, but. Uh, you know, with everything that's going on, can't really blame them. All the disappearances and such. Why, why are you asking? Is that, uh, is that group in trouble or something? Uh, no, not in trouble. There's just been some disappearances related to that group in particular uh, that we're just looking into. Okay, well, um, um, if there's any way I could help, I'd be happy to. What about this other individual? The uh, second one. They, they're a, uh... A Goliath that I'd rather not have to run into again, personally. Can you describe them? Uh, tall, even for a Goliath, as far as I can tell, and um, they they look like they they work out a lot. Is there anything else you could give us? Like maybe like any specific tattoos or. Like facial appearances, any scars, any birthmarks. Um, he he did have a large scar going from the uh, about the center of his forehead down to below his right eye. Okay. And she she looks like anxious, remembering and picturing this guy. I don't mean to make you anxious or anything. It's just, uh, you know, most Goliaths that I know of, at least, are. Uh, already pretty tall and uh muscular so any other details about their physical I, appearance would help yes when i when i say that though um beyond a normal goliath well i've only seen a few in my life so i, I wouldn't know a large scar across the face over the eye over the eye over the right eye right eye yeah from the center of the forehead and then like looping that's under not familiar the eye. to me right that's not familiar to me have I um, seen any Goliath matching this description? No. Okay. It's definitely not anyone for it's definitely not someone you know from your community, Loki. Okay, that's good. That's that was my main concern when you said Goliath. I was like, uh. -uh. No, uh, and I mean there are other go other Goliaths that have integrated with society. Um they're not super common, but I mean in a city the size of Waterdeep, you there's easily oh, yeah. a couple dozen of them. Good old the water deep. <clears throat> Does it sound like a guy that Morgan might have fought before? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying there was a chance? <laughs> there was a chance. Eventually. Well, it was a chance. It, she, her encounter with him was at the Field of Triumph, so... Hmm. So then I guess the better question would be, would he, would Morgan have ever seen him in passing? Go ahead and roll me a history check at disadvantage. That's fair. Two nat 20, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Two nat 20s, let's get it! No. We tried. Close. I mean, you've seen, you've seen, and you fought some Goliath. Doesn't stand out to you. Hmm. Yeah, not ringing any bells up in the old bell, fry. Well, we tried. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything they wore in particular that like stood out? Like, 
like they wore something that would indicate a profession or something like a like that they pin like that they guild. or a color that just like stuck out like well that's interesting a goliath wearing a pink scarf like that's that's a bit odd the they were both wearing i didn't get a super good look at it but i did notice they were both wearing um some sort of either bracelet or um what's the other word anklet no uh 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 ring no no it's a it's another wrist thing a bangle or like a cuff link no not a cuff link um wristband bracer bracer mm. okay. okay um i like i said i i wasn't right up at them but i did notice they were on their left arms they were both wearing some sort of um bracelet or bracer i couldn't really tell from the angle um and this is from your was... recent encounter not the past yes. one yes and it was they were both the same color um they were both gray with a couple what looked like blue stripes on it okay. anything else they think would be of value uh, nothing really distinctive outside of that. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. You're okay. You've given us more than enough. Um, I do know that it's, that's it as far as uh, appearances. I can say that one of the places I saw them hang out was the uh, uh, That's the wrong one. Sorry. I was not as prepared as I thought, apparently, because I didn't have names of places. She she says the place, and I'll tell you it in a minute. Very good. Knew. Um, while I'm looking for that, however, um, on your way out, you do. Uh, on your way when you're leaving the bar. Uh, and you would be up in the castle ward at this point um you do, tia notices in an alley uh just a little ways after leaving the bar a uh bracer that seems to at least vaguely match that description okay, uh, just laying on the ground? ground yes all right like sure. laying it's kind of like um caught behind a between a crate and a wall tia will walk over to that and alert everyone to such a thing and bring them over and i'll look at it and of course you'd uh make sure it's safe to grab and then grab it yeah okay. i'll use detect magic on it first before she grabs it okay that's smart um there is no magic you <laughs> being in the city uh there are many sources of magic just like that you can sense but not necessarily see here since you're in the alley nothing from this bracelet nothing from the bracelet no um looking around the alley does it seem like there's any hidden doors or like something on the ground like a hatch or something oh uh make me a 
perception check. Help me, Andromeda. I'm only add a d6 to that because I can. Okay. 22. 22. Um, let's see here. There would be several like back entrances to buildings that open up into this alley. Um, there's no like manhole covers or anything like that. Um, And for reference, this would be the, uh, this would be, it's actually the alley where, uh, Oh no, no, I'm sorry. It's an it's the alley under the Hawkman. Which is another of the giant statues. Um, it's like if you see the block where the Hawkman is, it would be um it would be the alley that's like down at the bottom of that block. By the elegant headwear shop. Uh, oh yeah, headwear. Yeah, but like the left, like kind of where there's that ring on the left to the left of that, or circle, whatever you want to call it. Oh, the 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 two buildings uh, in the middle of the alley. Yeah. Area. Okay. Yeah. Um, any back door near to where the the band was found? Like right by it, there's one um maybe thirty or forty feet off to the left. Um, and another 50 feet to the right. Uh, which side of the alley was this band found on? The left or right? Um, I mean, if you're facing the wall that it was found on, to the left and right on that same wall. Um, across the alley, there aren't any doors in that general area. Okay. I mean, there's some like uh, 70, 80 feet down, but not Immediately across. Yes. Uh, um, Tia, are you able to scry? Uh, yes, I can today, actually. Hi, I'm Tia. Uh, don't have a focus for that though, so we probably need to go get one. So let's uh let's take this. Uh silver mirror. Yeah, no, I don't think we would have that. Might be able to get it cheaper through the the guild not the guild, the uh with the council funds. Yeah. If the council could get us one that'd be good. But uh, to you we'll go. Yeah, if I could get a, a crystal ball or something similar to that, I can uh definitely do some scrying today. All right. Uh, well, I suppose let's go see if we can requisition one. Okay. She will uh ask you to lead the way. I will go to wherever we requisitioned our other equipment when we went off to Icewind Dale. Okay. Um, 
Harper's supply stash. Like you're wanting to use your your uh, council card thing to get try to get it for free. Not is what you're saying. Free necessarily, like at least a discount because a thousand gold pieces is pretty expensive. Although that might not okay. be such a problem if we won yesterday, but I don't know if we did or not. Okay. Um Yeah, I'll say you can get a discount on they're actually fresh out of crystal balls, but you can get a, a good silver mirror. Yeah, I was going to say it has to be either a, a focus ball, a, such as a crystal ball, silver mirror, or a font filled with holy water. I think a mirror or a crystal ball would benefit us the most because we could carry that around with us. And then you, uh, yeah. a font, you'd have to keep refilling with holy water. Yeah, literally, and fuck that. Yeah. What costs a thousand gold, the font or the holy water? The font. The font. And holy water. Three. Holy water tea I can technically make using the spell ceremony. Uh, yes, I do true. have four vials of holy water, though. I, I think we'd be better off getting a mirror. Yeah, uh, you can get the mirror. Um, the they say that they can get it to you, um, for half the price. Five hundred gold, not bad. Uh, I think it would make sense if Tia pitched in some of that. One, uh, one platinum is ten gold, right? Yes. So 500... What's the Electrum conversion rate? Two Electrum equals one gold? Yes. Okay. Uh, That's 50 yeah. platinum. Give me one second. I need to get the calculator open. <clears throat> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we getting rid of Electrum right now? So Tia could have a hundred and 184 gold with one Electrum left over. <laughs> Through converting the Electrum to gold. I uh I already converted my electrum to gold. I did that in Baldur's Gate. All right, so uh, I'm I'm thinking either the wiki is gaslighting me right now, or you've always been wrong, or I just am completely imagining a whole area of Waterdeep that I'm positive exists. It could be like the variant maps of Baldur's where there's just a different map. Right, you know but I'm, I mean? I, it's like a, it's a, it's like locations that had that I remember reading lore about and stuff like that. That the wiki should talk about. What location? But I don't remember the name of it, and that's the problem. Um, but there's a courtyard where. Either during the full moon or during some, or when the moon's out, one of the two, I can't remember. Um, there's like no gravity in the courtyard, so people can float. Ooh, fancy. Uh, so hang on, if it's five hundred gold, I'm still working that out of my head. So that's how much gold Tia would get if she converted her electrum. So, I need another calculator. How much Electrum does she have? 369. Nice. So she'd have one Electrum piece left over. Uh, Excuse me. And she'll throw in another... Hang on, that math isn't right. I'm trying to get 250. I'm trying to get 250. <clears throat> I'm just going to pay for half of it. Okay. Well, 83 gold, I think, is what 166 Electrum is worth. So Morgan will throw that in just to get rid of his Electrum. <laughs> Wait, actually, hang on. And Tia will cough up another 66 gold to uh, cover the rest of it. Now I'll just drop, um, just put down six gold and I'll have, um, six platinum added to that. 
we're just gonna do this. Uh, nope, that's all right. Okay, so Tia has not much money left. She's giving 250 gold pieces worth, also using her election to count for some of the gold to pay for the crystal ball. Or mirror. It's a bit, it'd be the mirror, actually, yes. Okay, I did that math. I did it right. I hope. God, I hope. I'm sorry, Abby. Don't beat me up. Again. Again. Alright, fine. Um... They, they, she told you that they hang out around Troll Skull Alley. Since I can't find the other place. Okay. So, I guess once we have the mirror, she will cast the scrying spell. To uh, see it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pop the description in the chat because I do not remember the spell for the life of me. Yeah, I was about to pull there it we go. A uh, particular creature in wisdom saving throw. If the target knows you're casting a spell, they fail. It can fail the save thing throw voluntarily if it wants to be observed. I'm Knowledge gonna, modifier gonna... save. You've heard of the target. You've met the target. You know the target well. I'm, it... I'm actually pulling it up still because reading it as a table is a lot easier than how yeah. 24 mattered it there. Yeah. Like, it's, a... it's, it's, it's all there, but... I'm dumb and like to read the table. No, I get you. It's like modifiers for if you know them, and then also modifiers depending on what you're using the scry with. So, yeah, so they it's, have it's secondhand a, knowledge. They have a modifier of plus one because it's plus five minus four. Well, if that's their garment. If it uh, is, I yeah. gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go for just a minute. Okay. Yeah, uh, it'd be uh, would be it'd be second hand. So it's plus five sa to the save modifier, but since we have their garment it's minus four, so yeah, it'd be plus one to the save. Her save is a uh, eighteen, so they have to get a nineteen to pass. Such a good spell, but my god, it's tricky. It's like teleport. Uh, no, they have a plus one to their their saving throw modifier. So like, oh, I thought I thought that's what I said in my bad. No, you said that you you added the plus one to uh, the DC. It's not to the DC. It's to the saving throw. Uh... So it's whatever they roll plus one is uh... their saving throw. Okay, yeah. So they have to roll. A 16 or lower for it to affect <clears throat> because if they're all 17, it becomes an 18. Unless, like, they have a high wisdom score, and then. Then that just makes things more complicated. Fucked. Let's hope they're not as wise as Morgan. Hopefully, it is their act actually their garment. <laughs> Imagine if for no reason at all. I'm multi-class. <laughs> to what? I don't know. Ranger. The only thing I thought of for Loki that would make sense is either Bard or Sorcerer, but Sorcerer, I'd have to like find a reason to get a Sorcerer's Origin, and then well, you for could Bard... Pick the fiend. Yeah, or Warlock. I could do Warlock too, but that wouldn't make sense. Oh yeah, no, no, that's that's a patron. Sorry. Yeah, there is yeah. no fiend... Uh thing yeah at there's, the moment, there's no there's... there's no devil thing for sorcerers nope no so yeah, at the I'm moment not. like the only thing that makes sense for loki is to just completely remain a wizard unless like against the next dragon we fight he gets hit with the breath attack and for some reason that awakes in a sorcerer's origin within him that's the only thing i can think of or like wait what what was what happened we're just i don't know we're, we're talking he more, shit. Uh, he... Yeah, Dylan mentioned multiclassing, and then I was like, it wouldn't make sense for Loki to multiclass into anything. The only things that would make sense for him would either be Bard, Sorcerer, or Warlock, but 
he hasn't sold his soul to anything, so no warlock. He hasn't awakened a magical power within him, so besides learning it himself, obviously. So Sorcerer wouldn't make sense. And Bar doesn't make sense because he doesn't play instruments or any of that shit. Sorcerer would make sense if you do um, the Infernal one, just there because no of the lineage. Inf- there is no Infernal. Yeah. There, it's not called the Infernal. It's the um. See, I knew there was one. What's it there's called? Gotta be. There's, there's no way. That I'm, the I'm, I, I'm pulling up my list of all, all, all subclasses. Since there's a divine soul, which you, I guess, you could theme to be infernal. Just have it flip. Draconic, wild storm, divine shadow storm, aberrant clockwork. That's all I'm seeing on roll twenty. You could do shadow. That's where shadow fell. Yeah, shadow, shadow fell. It gives you double uh, sword, though. I think you could do clockwork. Because you do went... pyromancer would make yeah, sense that's... as a. Yeah, but that's a UA. No, it's plane shift. <laughs> or wild magic. I think I think right now straight wizard is the best way to go. Maybe yeah. if like, I decide to learn an instrument later on, I think that'd be fun. Well, it's I, necessarily... I was thinking. I was thinking of the. Patron Warlock is what I was thinking of. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, but why would Loki sold soul to someone? Uh, bards not necessarily have to play an instrument. Like, your whole th- stick could be card tricks. <clears throat> you that's could true. also yeah. be an actor. Remember, I did that for a character. Yeah, that's true too. Stand up think, comedian. Um, I want to say the deal that... with these spells. I want to say that Tuat the, the Barbarian the did, um, did Gambit as a bard doing card tricks. So, oh, but I can't remember for sure. But what would make sense for a monk? Uh, is there a deity of alcohol? No, but you could be a you could be a uh, alchemist artificer, and the alchemy being drinks. Yeah. Because that their thing is using <laughs> does he supplies. have an intelligence score of thirteen or higher? <laughs> Hold on. I'll tell you right now. I have a 12 in my intelligence. Nope. So it would take a half feet. I'll be right back. Uh, I'll go to the bathroom again. Uh, barbarian. You could make some of the barbarian ones work. <laughs> a swashbuckler. You could uh, become a cleric of uh, Dionysus. <laughs> Yeah, cleric of Dionysus. Uh, or um, Hanseth? Hanseath? Hanseath? Uh, his portfolio she... is brewery, festival, festivity, and song. In domains of What's trickery him? and war. Hmm. He's a dwarven deity. <clears throat> I'm, trying to th- I'm trying to think, though, like what, what domain would fit Morgan? This guy's trickery or war. But also at the same time, I could do Barbarian, but it wouldn't work for specifically Morgan. Only because even if I don't use Spin Box, all of my uh, unarmed strikes are going off my decks, not my strength. And in order to Reckless, it has to go off your strength. Which is stupid. And to get the Rage damage bonus, it has to be strength too. Which is also stupid. <laughs> It completely, it completely stops you from multi-classing monk and doesn't allow for ranged uh, rage builds, which you could 100% be in a rage and go hyper-focus and use a bow, in my mind. Because it's not always just unbridled rage. There's different types of rages, you know? Well, I mean, with um, Path... With, uh, uh, is it Path of the Giant? No, Path of the Primordial. Um... You can't. It works on thrown weapons, which is a step in that direction. Oh, does it really? That's the new UA. That that is that is the whole that is their shtick is thrown weapons. I haven't even gotten a chance to look at that yet. That's that sounds cool. See, I like that's that's good because eventually, if they accept you doing decks, then it's like, hey, that's that's nice. Because like I don't know, Wizards talks about how they want to be more inclusive. And, like, they want people to be able to play what they want to play. 
but if you're still making it to where I can't play a barbarian with a bow, but then you're making it so that my goblin is a fucking face so that people don't just instinctively hate him, I'm aggravated. Grave domain could work for Morgan. Because of his oh, wife. Ah, yes. This is true. But does Morgan pray? No. Could also become a druid. He could. He could do that. I do have... I'd have to scroll through all my saved posts on Reddit, but I do have a couple um, homebrew subclass builds that are based around alcohol. Hmm. Like, there's a, cler there's a cleric one that is uh, dying on Isis for that reason. It's like a... Oath of, it's like a... Festivity domain or something like that. I like the sound of that. <clears throat> See, I'd do Barbarian, but like, then I would, what I would ask is, could I, even though they're going off my decks, get the normal bonuses for just the fists? I won't push it to the gun because I know that that's asking for too much. But there would also have to be a reason why he would multi-class. I'm not just going to do it, you know? Right. So, but if there if there was an opportunity that arose in which he would, I don't know. Lose I mean, his here, fucking here, mind. <laughs> yeah, lose his fucking mind or enter a rage that would, like, prompt him to following the path of a barbarian from that point forward. Let me, uh, I'm sending you the class you should multi-class into. Okay. Oh, Anthony messaged me to uh to be him. <laughs> to, to be him. So be him and Tia. All right, there you go. I I messaged you the class you should be. The the class you should multi-class into. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so Tia is scrying, and it is a wisdom save. They have a plus. If it's if it this garment does belong to one of the individuals that we've heard of, they have a plus one to their saving throw modifier, on top of whatever else they have. So effectively, the DC is 17. Okay, and she's... If the first one fails, she'll cast it on the second guy, too, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Uh... The first guy... Well, it, it does not succeed... It does not find purchase on the first person. Um, who is creature you choose? It is on okay. So there's no range limit as long as it's the same plane. And. Once Marcus is level 5, he'll be able to uh, have 5th level spells. He'll be able to scry on Abraham Lincoln. God. Oh no, he's in the Ford Theater. I gotta warn him! Quickly. Oh my god, you see someone approaching behind him. Six separate Tyrannus. Oh no! It's on John Wilkes Booth. Oh god, no! No, instead Marcus... of John Wilkes Booth, it's literally just like a fucking shape change. 
Marcus shoots the man that would that was trying to kill Lincoln. It turns out he was just an illusion, and he actually he actually becomes John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> Marcus Dean has assassinated the president. <laughs> Um, yeah, the second one also fails. No, no, the second one succeeds. I had her, had her DC wrong. So let me mark off two, whatever level scrying is, fifth level. Oh, that's both slots. Uh, yeah. So Tia, like, kind of goes glassy-eyed staring into this mirror for uh, a good minute. A good couple minutes, actually. Okay, so I, I saw the guy. That's more Rita than Tia. Oh, wait, no, I gotta be Anthony. So I gotta be Anthony doing Tia's voice. There's too many layers here. Um. So Tia... Would say, I I saw the guy and it looked like he was in the area right around him. Looked looked almost like um looked almost like water deep, but it was very dark there. It has to be the same plane of existence. So was it like underground? I mean, I could just see a little bit. Around him, I can't see a whole lot. Um, but it was the it was the Goliath guy that she told us about, and he still had on an armband, so I don't think this one was his. Um, I don't know. It could have just been like a different city or something. In the dark. But it was dark. What time of day is it? Uh, it would be around noon. So what, like opposite side of Toro? I I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't like tell you where it is. No, it doesn't. Um, I mean, it was like a cobbled street that they were on, and there was there was lots of buildings around him from the little bit I could see. same plane of existence so it can't be like the shadow fell version of water deep which would be really cool but it's not uh, hmm. let's uh let's go through the yawning portal i want to see if um Volo's there. He might know something. Yeah, Actually, right. um, Tia, do you have sending? The, <laughs> well, the the only other thing that I notice that makes me think it wasn't here is that the the lamps they were burning, but they were instead of being the instead of being like these gas ones they use here, it was. There was like candles and stuff in them. 
cobbled street that's a city that uses candles instead of oil. And it's dark at this time of day, at this time of year, in this part of the country. Localized <laughs> entirely within the range of your scrying sensor. Can I see it? No. No. <laughs> An underdark city? I don't... Does gaze of two minds let you see what they see when they're scrying? I... S you, you, you see their senses, and it... They're using use, their... Use their senses. That just made that Gaze so much better. Gaze minds so much better, yeah. Which oh, means wow. also, like, if if you're... Like, they could be... If a Gaze of Two Minds was looking through Rebecca's eyes, and then Rebecca looked through Andromeda's eyes, Gaze of Two Mind person would be looking through Andromeda's eyes as well. And if uh, Rebecca had voice of the chain master. That could be anywhere on the planet. I already liked Gaze of Two Minds. That made it a lot better. I thought it was dumb. I'm like, oh boy, you can look through my eyes. And... It well, just it just seems so dumb, but now... You know what that also means is that if you're traveling with a party and... So, so how does... So with the scrying, right? They can make a save against it, but they still know that they're being watched. No. Oh, the save is only to determine whether or not you're able to watch them. Yes. Correct. Oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say, if it was a situation where it was like um, <clears throat> like that other spell where it's like they they know that you did it and they know that they're being watched, then like if you were gazing through their eyes, you you would also know that they're being watched. So if they decided not to tell everyone else, you'd be like, oh my god, we're being fucking watched, guys. <laughs> but it doesn't work that way, so that's unfortunate. <clears throat> what spell is this? Huh? Oh, uh, we're talking about Gaze of Two Minds and its applications uh, with scrying. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because uh, I stepped away real quick to go to the bathroom, and it was a uh, fun. Uh, Tia succeeded on scrying on the the Goliath, failed the first scry against the um again against the uh, the gnome. It it looked similar to Waterdeep, where the place she saw him in. I'm I'm just reiterating this for you, Anthony. Um. There was cobbled street in the area that he was in. Lots of buildings. The street lamps, instead of being the um, the gas source that the ones in Waterdeep are, it appeared to be like candles and other um, fuels in it instead of like a natural gas kind of thing. And it was dark out. It is currently noon for you. However, it's been it's been restated that um, scrying only works if it's on the same plane. So there's somewhere on Toral. Yes, somewhere that it's currently nighttime. Or they don't have access to the sun. Yes. Like underground. Which, which could be underground or storming or... And she didn't say it was raining. You know, well, she didn't say it was raining. Unfortunately, we can't get the, uh, what's it called? What's the name of it? What's the name of it? Location. No, uh, what they use for, uh, weather reporters. Oh, radar? Yeah, we don't have radar or anything. Doppler. So we don't know. Doppler! There we go. We don't have Doppler or anything, so we can't figure out, uh, where the storm, if there is a storm or if it's night or anything, so... Do you have a, a tier or Loki, do you have a sending on you? I need to check both. Hang on. Here? Yes. Loki. No. So yes, Tia. Okay. So Tia has met Volo. Um, do you think you could send him a message um, asking Just him if uh, type, he's... Type it out for me. 25 words or less. 
You know, I'm not gonna lie. I, yeah, I've... you gotta all the extra. You gotta fill out the extra words with okay. Well, yeah, I mean, you that's... do have to do that. That's always very important. Yeah, yes. Loki said that that's how it works. It's like you end your sentence and you go, okay, question mark, okay, question mark, okay, question mark, okay, question mark. It just kind of repeats for a bit until you hit the word limit. Now, here's my question for you, Loki. It counts how many words you use, but as part of the number of words, do, do um, pauses or uh, symbols such as question marks and periods also no. count as a word? Or they don't? I, I don't believe so. I don't see why. They're not technically words. So if, if it was a character me... limit, maybe like you know, if you're typing out something, ah. or or wall <laughs> What what what's typing and what's a character limit? Like if you went on Twitter.com. <laughs> Twitter.com. I've only ever been on Reddit. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, you're limited to 140 characters when you use sending via a um, carrier pigeon. Carrier pigeons are always fun. Twitter. Is that what you find on the wide web? <laughs> Down in the underdark? It's called Loth's Wide Web. Probably, yes. There is. It's that, that layer of the abyss that's just one giant spider web. Okay. Yeah, literally. Don't forget <laughs> the River of Blood abyss. Layer. I don't know if that's real or not. I made that up forever ago, and I'd like to think it's real. No, I heard it. What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh. Yawning portal, portal and okay would not be able to get within that message. Um, at, Just remove the and then remove okay. Okay, so because I don't want to do it in Tia's voice, I will just relay the message that Rebecca has instructed of her to Volo of removing the duh and okay. Exactly like the second one. Oh, yeah, I, I could do it. I could do it. Hi, Volo. This is Rebecca's friend Tia. We, we have some questions about locations. <laughs> Are you currently in Waterdeep so we can meet at the Yawning Portal? Oh, jeez. Oh jeez, Rick. Well, if from how you said it, portal and then everything after it would have been cut out because you added an extra word. You added duh. Yeah, but T is silly, so. Ha <laughs> oh, yeah yeah. I'm not casting it again. Um, we might we might need these later. No, I'm not asking you to cast it again. I'm. Just... I'm not yeah. in water deep anymore. No. Is that it? Is that all he's going to say? I'm currently in in Icewind Dale. Oh, we were oh, just there! Sakes. We're not going back. <laughs> we don't have time to go back. Y'all never went to Icewind Dale. Don't uh -oh. know why. It's nearby. To where no, the Sea of yeah. Moving Ice? Yeah. yeah it's yeah. nearby. Close to Working on my next book. Sea of Moving Ice, Icewind Dale? They both have ice. So come on, that's nearby. You're working on Volo's Guide to Monsters Part 2. <laughs> well, actually, the last book you put out was um the one about Waterdeep that I can't remember. Because y'all y'all met him when he was working on it. And then the one after that was Volo's Guide to Being Unique. Don't worry yeah. about that one. I wish I could help. If you just send your questions like this. <laughs> uh, okay. Tia will relay that message exactly. God damn it, Volo. You know, that that little guy is a uh, pain in the ass. Uh, well, if you're willing to use one more spell, so let me write out the, the question. Yep just, yep, just let me know what you want to say. 25 or less. And it's okay. Currently in Icewind Dale, buying Scrimshaw. 
Hey, did you happen to see Regis while you're up there? Oh, yeah, 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 that name. Kartik Stone Roller here. Your pal Regis sent me to help you out. Ah, old Rumble Billy. E Regis is obsessed with the yawning portal buttermilk biscuits. Is he actually? Yeah. Oh, I haven't gotten that far. Tia will relay the message exactly with the two OKs at the end, but just to make sure. One, two, three, four. Five, I I haven't either, Dylan. Ten, but um, in the in the cookbook, he has a quote. <laughs> Yep, that's right. Biscuits. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right. She'll send that message exactly as is with the two OKs at the end to see exactly. All right, All right Dylan, can you, uh, can you okay, send okay, 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 okay. <laughs> We're looking for a city like Waterdeep. Oh, geez. But it is dark at this time of day, and the lamps have candles, not oils. Okay, okay. Oh, gee. You said, you said it was G, so that counted up for the two OKs. What? No, no, th don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my god. Those are, she, those are internal OGs. She, she is going to kill both of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well, maybe you should have been here. No. Well, if it's already dark, it must be far away. But I don't know of any cities as big as Waterdeep there. She was just going to relay that message exactly. And then she's going to go. Maybe he underground? He said maybe underground, and he didn't put okay, okay, okay at the end. Loki, I don't know if that's real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we could go to the Yawning Portal, see if uh, anyone there knows about the pit in there. If there's like another water deep under water deep. Like, uh, New New York has old New York underneath it? I suppose. <laughs> I yeah, whatever Futurama. you just said. I love Futurama. Bing, 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 bing. Well, Loki you would know the, the pit in the Yawning Portal, they, they sell admission to. I know. But, like, we can go talk to the barkeep there and see if, like, or, like, anyone there, see if they know... The underground of Waterdeep, what it would look like. Okay. Um. Okay. We will make our way. <clears throat> we are going. We are going. Blungus be like, we are going. Wait, wouldn't it be the Jungle sewers? Bungo. King of the Gwingo. Like, are we just, are we just silly? I feel like it's the sewers. It's gotta be. Would it be the sewers? I mean, the Do sewers would be to... more, more like, Do what? not have buildings and candlelit torches. I thought she just said she saw cobblestone and lanterns with candles in them. I didn't hear anything about buildings. Said yeah, buildings. she said there was lots of, there was lots of buildings. Oh, yeah, then it's the Underdark. Well, it could be another city. Like, maybe it's a Dwarven city. Are there any Dwarven cities nearby? As much as I love Dwarves, I have no idea. To the, to the, to the map. To the map, to the map, quickly! To the map. I, I have no idea either. I mean, I've lived in Baldur's practically my whole life. I've only started so exploring the world in recently. The Sword Mountains. I mean, there's one, there's one in from... Uh, Never winter. Well, that's away from here. That's like a good ways away. Mithril Hall. Uh, Nomengard. <laughs> Axel Hall. Dwarven excavation. No, that's not. Ice Spire Hold. Yeah, that's even farther away. Uh, uh Loudwater. The Dragon of Icy Ma Dragon oh, wait, no, of Freezing not, Mountain is too far Dwarven. away. <laughs> You say Dragon of Freezy Mountain? Yeah, yeah, Dragon of Freezy Mountain's too far away. Okay. Dwarven locations. Just accepts uh, that. It's like, okay, whatever you say, guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
Okay, where's Gontolgrim? Tell me. Uh, you want to know where Gontolgrim is? It's in the <laughs> Underdark. It has to be. That's, um... Uh, holy fuck. Sword Coast North, North Dark. It's in the North Dark. Yeah, it's it's the place that um, Brunor becomes the king of later on. After Mithril. Uh -huh. It's it's like a Durgar. It used to belong to them, but then it got taken over by the dwarves. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but, but where? I don't know where. Oh the, no, it's uh... up above Neverwinter. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I I don't I don't know where dwarven um. Or, or the Underdark would be in relation to anything. Do they have a map where you could like literally layer one over the other? I found one that has the uh, Underdark over Faerun. But but Gontalgrim isn't actually in the Underdark. It's just underground. Oh, oh it's just underground. Yeah, it could, there's tunnels that connect it to the Underdark. Hmm. Fuck it. Still a dwarven place. Yeah, and that's that's just the because what you have the underdark and then you have the it's not called the deep dark. There's another no, layer below the underdark. There's the upper, upper dark, dark, the middle, middle dark, dark, and the middle. low dark. Yeah, and the lower dark's real freaky. Yeah. Further down, the more illithid presence you find. Dire corbies. Say dire corgis? Dire, no, dire, dire corbies, <laughs> not dire corgis. Oh, Those are God. terrifying too. Um, we'll just say no. The closest ones would be near uh, Neverwinter. A place that's dark during the day. It's got, oh. yeah, it's got to be underground somewhere. Uh, okay. What about um? It's either the sewers or something else. What about, um, if not the sewers, um, gnomish settlements? Okay, so, so, so right now, the, the ones you can check out within Waterdeep of your theories would be the sewers or Undermountain, aka the portal and the yawning portal. So we could either I, I check the we, sewers we, first. We should ask someone to see if yes. the sewers yeah. or Undermountain look similar to what we described. I bet there's Yo, a fucking thieves guild under the city that looks like a there's a, there's city. A, there's a thieves guild everywhere, let's be real. No, but I mean like one so big, big it looks like a smaller city. In Waterdeep, which is like essentially New York City of the Sword Coast, yeah, probably. You know, where the Xanathar killer is headquartered? <laughs> yeah, literally. I, I wouldn't oh, be surprised. Oh, right. <laughs> right! Yeah, forgot about that one. Not to mention the, uh, oh, what's the, 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 what, the there's other the other evil one. Zentarum. There's the other evil one. The Zentarum, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we don't want to fuck with them. No, thank you. I don't like slavers. <laughs> you want to get in the middle of a Zentarum, uh, the Zentarum Xanathar killed war? God, no. <laughs> Turf war. All right, um, so y'all go to the Yawning Portal to find people, someone that knows about the underground. Why, Pete? Ah, news from the underground. Onward. Bene. Hello, random patron. My name is Morgan, the Urban Bourbon. You might have heard of me. That's not important. I'd like to ask you, do you know of any place in the city that looks like the city but underground? And has candlelight torch, it's candlelight, uh, candle-based uh, street lamps instead of oil. And cobblestone yeah, pathways. What she said, and also what he said. Like either Undermountain or the sewers. Which one sounds uh, more familiar? Go ahead and pick one of yourselves to roll a investigation check at advantage. I will tell you right now, I have a plus nine to investigation. You do it. Yeah, you do it, 100%. <laughs> I have a plus six, so... <laughs> Can't oh. possibly fail. Oh. Oh. They all did with a two. Thank god I had advantage. Okay. Oh, Loki walks in, walks straight up to the bar, and looks <laughs> looks the owner in the eye. 
as he does. Goes right up to Durnan and asks him. Howdy, Durnan, how you doing? <laughs> Listen, reiterates everything we just said. I said yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Doesn't doesn't sound like anything I ever saw in Undermountain. So maybe the sewers? But uh mm. All three of you go ahead and GM roll me a D one hundred. So oh, do wow. slash G R one D one hundred. Thank you. That's literally for me because I always forget. <gasps> <laughs> Did he roll a one or a one hundred? You'll never know. You'll ah, never know. <laughs> Dylan, please. Do you want to know? Do you really I do want really want to know. I really want to know. No one screams like that unless I get a 100 on a, G on a D100 roll. Or is it, or a 1. Or a 1. I mean, I got, a a, I got a 7. <laughs> That's still not as bad as a 1. Let's be, Wait, let's be honest did, here. Did he get a 1? He actually no, got a 1. Tell. I'll All never right. tell. Okay, he, he got a 1. So I guess I rolled the highest then. So, um... Wait, well, does Tia I, count? Does I, Tia I rolled count? 1 for Tia. Uh Okay. So as Loki's having this conversation with Durnan, Morgan just wanders the fuck off. <laughs> uh, he falls down the well. <laughs> uh, Woo! Durnan Durnan tells the three of you in Andromeda. Um Yeah, I've never I never saw anything like that in Undermountain though. If you're looking to check, uh Eh, you look like you might survive a couple days down there. I say to all of them, do we want to go? Uh, I look around, I was like, where'd Morgan go? You I cannot have... see him. <laughs> he, he probably saw, like, a bottle of alcohol and grew little fairy wings and flew towards it. Uh, and um, to quickly scatter around and look for Morgan. <laughs> Dylan, can you hop over to Secrets with me for a minute? Uh -oh. What did he roll? He had to roll he rolled, 100 or 1. He rolled a 1. There is no way he didn't roll a 1. He just tumbled down the well by accident. That's exactly Whoa. what he did. I, I can't believe I if he did roll a 1, I rolled the highest out of all of us. And I will tell you right now, because Bean's not here, don't snitch on me. It was a 36. I already said what I rolled. I rolled a 7. Yeah, that's true. Don't snitch, though. I gotta be the good one here. <laughs> oh, God. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm tired. My tummy hurts. Don't drink, Beck. <laughs> no water and food in this world can quench the pain I'm in right now. What did you drink? Uh, a hundred proof vodka mixed with lemonade. I had like three cups of it, and it was like half the cup. It yeah, was that's a why lot. I just drink rum and coke. That's fair. Yeah, I don't it's either a major Morgan. discovery or Morgan's actively dying at the moment. So true. I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna last. I'll let you know now, so don't be mad at me. I'm sorry. It's my own fault for drinking. I don't like how long it's taking. Yeah. I really don't. And the, and the silence between us both isn't helping. So how was your day? Without giving away too many details. <laughs> it was fine. Oh, that's good. Uh, anything exciting happen? Not in particular. Did you find the fabled Beckerson of, of old? I'm the only one. <laughs> that you know of. Beckerson 2 out there running around, and then Beckerson 0, the prime Beckerson. Well, uh, technically, there would also be a Beckerson 1 as well. 
because I'm just flat Beckerson. This is true. Your default Beckerson. That would be zero. Technically, one, you'd two. be prime the bit. You'd be the prime Beckerson, actually. Yeah. So you're the prime Beckerson. And since you're the prime Beckerson, that means that there's probably another Beckerson out there because you are the original. There'd be no reason to call you the original if there were not a copy out there. <laughs> I say, even though there's probably no one else out there with the username Beckerson or Beckerson1 or yes. Beckerson underscore or underscore Beckerson. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck are they? Crazy. I have no idea. I don't like this. Should we just join secrets and surprise them? No. Yeah, that's not right. You want to lose a level? No, we just got a level. I don't want to lose it. But see, if he didn't want people in there, he should have made it a restricted room with like two people like how we did. Patiently waiting. I know, I don't like it. Let's just roll random dice, like random rolls for let's all roll the characters. Let's roll initiative to kill. Yeah. NPC. Well, let's go. We're killing NPCs, let's go. Alright, I think you go first, so you do your first attack and I'll do my next attacks. Alright, uh, green flame blade with Ah, that got up! And... Brought him back, that brought him back. <laughs> About this time, you see Morgan coming out of the far stairwell and coming towards you guys. Morgan, what happened? Where'd you go? Oh, well, I decided to take a walk upstairs, and I found this guy who was, like, looking off with a thousand-yard stare, and I thought to myself, I recognize that stare. That looks like a man that's seen hell. So I sat down, thinking that I'd strike up a conversation with him. I was under the assumption that he had taken the nine steps like I had. However, upon my discussing with him, I found out exactly the place that we're looking for. <laughs> And then, he rolled a hundred. <laughs> and then, as I walked past him on the way back down this stairwell over here, I found a little baggie with a hundred gold pieces in it. What? That's, that's mine, by the way. It's not yours. You don't get to keep it. Now the so question is, did he roll a hundred, or did he roll a one and just think that all this is true? Insight <laughs> check. <laughs> Both of us inciting. We'll figure out something. Oh! <laughs> Hey, come on. <laughs> okay, hold on. That's so, not bad. Let me, let me, let me do my, uh... Your GM roll it. Yeah, yeah, I'll, G I'll GM. Oh, why'd you remind him? You would have done it. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll believe it. <laughs> Whatever it is, I may or may not believe it, depending. I did that, I did that right, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> so it, yeah, you did. So, do I believe uh, him? Uh, Rebecca, you you just zoned out for his ex explanation. Uh, she normally does. That's fine. You you're like not breathing. You're just like staring up and to up and to the left. Rebecca, you're looking dead again. Stop it. <laughs> what? Uh, Loki. <laughs> He actually wait. Me... Oh my! Is it contested? What is this? What did you do, Dylan? <laughs> hold on, Dylan. Hold on. No, I got I got to logic this real quick. Dylan. Right, right. So he rolled that skill, which means he's trying to insert persuade or deceive here. So, but he actually rolled acrobatics instead. <laughs> but he, he rolled that. He rolled perception he, instead. He, Loki. Okay. Morgan's all over the place right now. Okay, Morgan, I need you to sit down, 
and I need you to recall everything that's happened. One, you said you got a hundred gold pieces. Can you confirm that you actually have this money on you? Yeah, he will. Um, he will t take a separate pouch from the one that he typically keeps his money in, and uh, it this it, it would look new to you because you've never seen him have this separate one. Before. Yeah, and you see so. you see embroidered into the side, uh, three letters. The middle one being bigger. Where are the letters? E K P. E K P. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found it on the stairs over there as I was walking down. And it has a hundred gold in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he opens it up and he's just like, looks about, give or take. Monogrammed coin purse. <laughs> he's like, I could take it all out and count it, but I mean, like, that's a hefty sum. Loki, you were handling money yesterday. You know what a hundred gold looks like. Yeah, it's, it's, does that look like a hundred gold? It looks more or less like exactly 100 gold. Okay, so the gold part is real. You actually talked to someone who knows what's up? Where Where yeah. is this place? Where do uh, we go? We gotta go over to the City of the Dead. You know, the the big graveyard? Yeah. Where they bury all their honored dead? Right. We gotta go over there by the statue of... What, what, what did you say the name of the statue was again? That was the one part I didn't catch. Uh... I carry on. I carry on, yeah. He goes, uh, gotta walk over by the statue of a carry on by the mausoleums, and then you'll just like wind up there, is what it sounded like. Almost like a, a stepping through a portal, or like a spirited away situation, if you've ever seen that uh, Studio Ghibli movie. <laughs> I have. Alright, I know what you're talking about. Okay, well, from <clears throat> what I can gather, Rebecca based on the fact that he actually has this money and it does look like the money that it, he said it is. Uh, he's telling the truth. I mean, he 100% believes this is the truth. I wouldn't hurt to check. Let's just go to this statue. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, you know what they say. Money talks. And he'll just quietly put the coin person to the back of holding. So, so Anthony, I have to know how you would rule something happening. Oh, no. Let's just say hypothetically that someone's inciting another character, another player. Okay. And they roll, you know, decently well. Okay. And the, and the person that is trying to persuade rolls a nat one. <laughs> okay. What what happens? What does a nat one on persuasion mean for if you're telling the truth or not? Uh, I would just say you'd be able to see so many like irregularities and like essentially plot holes in what they're trying to say and what they're trying to pass by you, and it's just not convincing at all. Whether it be yeah, like their they're emotions, just unintentionally, like they their seem emotion, like they're full of it. Yeah, like their emotion and saying it, their expressions, like it's a combination of things really. Besides just the way you're saying it. So, like, in, if, in the case of Morgan, him saying all this, if he rolled a nat one on this, and I believe it, I guess that just means Loki's fucking stupid and doesn't know a fucking haggler when he sees one, despite being a fucking haggler. <laughs> but I don't know, though. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go try the statue, see if this really Wait, is a thing. And also, on Insight, if you believe something is true, that's all Insight can tell, is if the person believes it's true. It's exactly. not like a, a lie. If, it's it's a lie it's detector, a, not a uh... like. If I'm inciting him and he's like obviously fucking up and it's like it doesn't make any sense, I'm gonna know that he's not really telling the truth. But if I roll insight and he's convincing me enough that it is the truth, I'm not gonna question it. It's the truth. That's how I see it. Yeah. I'm not yeah. gonna be like, you know what? I don't think I did good on my insight check. Let <clears> me roll twenty more until I get a number I like. Wait. So then, in that case, wouldn't it be that if 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 for the example here, the truth was being told, but you're inciting because you don't believe them, and then they rolled a natural one and attempting to persuade you that this was in fact the truth when it is, then that would mean that they're so bad at persuading you that you believe that it's a complete and blatant lie? I, That's not how I would interpret it. No? No, I would interpret it as like... Um, I, I See... Persuasion, I don't think really works too well player v player. Deception would work in this situation. Persuasion, I 
I think like a, I, I don't know. It, I, I don't know how to deceptions describe. only if you're actually lying. So would you would would it make sense to roll a deception if you're telling the truth? No. So you would no, roll persuasion. Yeah. Which it's whether it's whether someone so... be believes your truth or can tell if you're lying or not. Well, right. I but see so... what Beck's saying though. It's a, it's a, it's a mix mash now that I'm thinking about it. it yeah, because it, it's this like doesn't normally... make sense. Without D &D insight, doesn't make sense. Right, 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 but normally without insight, and you go make a persuasion check, and you get a natural one, you're just so unpersuasive that it's either not necessarily a lie, but you're just like, huh, what? No, don't even talk to me. <laughs> go away. <laughs> yeah, literally, just just go away from the, me. The, right the way I see this is that um, because Loki uh, beat contest uh, one. The, yeah, the yeah. challenge. Oh yeah, well that one uh, don't actually matter. I'll be right back. No. I'll be right back. Because he won That's the true. challenge, he ended up um, gauging whether you're telling the truth or not. And with you persuading him, totally botching it by like fucking up, um, you wouldn't be very persuasive to an NPC, but because he's like inciting you, he'd be able to see that even though you're fucking up, it's like, okay, there is some truth to this, but what the fuck did you just smoke, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the way I'm looking at it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, we should, we should go to the graveyard. I, I think that's a good idea. I mean, that's what the guy said. I, I have to grab an ice pack for my grandmother real quick. Short break. Like uh yeah we can do a short break i grab it grab it i will say oh beck left damn it oh uh, no i i was about to leave uh oh oh but... i was gonna say for for context i i will i will say i did roll a, a nat one which in my case with a negative modifier is a zero <laughs> what did you roll in the d100 100, 100? You'll never know. I need to know! I will never tell, but I need to know. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> if I say it now, it'll get caught in the recording. <laughs> uh, I can turn off the output capture. All right, you can say it now. Okay, it's back on. Okay, so now I know. No one will know. <laughs> Very well. All right, I'm going to go grab a drink. Right on back. Okay, back. Eh, eh, eh. All right, I'm back. Oh, Dylan, I might need you to make a um a new character sheet for me to fuck with in your creation chamber. Got you. Oh yeah, are you are you gonna be there for uh yeah. bitch? Nice. Yeah, I didn't look at all who signed up thus far. I'm looking forward to not winning and totally missing out on getting a boon. Not a boon, a charm. A semi permanent charm. <laughs> uh, I apologize for misanswering your question because I I was thinking of the um Van Richten. Van Richt yeah, which are a completely different power level of thing. They're they're basically feats. 
Yeah, feats or or boons even. Yeah. Uh, whereas the uh, Strahd <laughs> dark gifts are very much charms, and they have some pretty nasty side effects. Yeah, they're they're either depending on them, they vary in power level. They're either charms or um blessings. Oh, I have to give. I mean, they're they are definitely ruled as charms. But, like, if you didn't have the downside, some of them would definitely be blessings. Yeah. Uh, the one that has your eyes melt. <laughs> but you have the effects of mind blank for a full year. <laughs> uh, the... What is it? The dark gift of Terechimedes, where if at dawn, if you haven't eaten a pound of bones or grave dirt in the last 24 hours, you die. You die. But you do have a fly speed of 50 feet, as long as yeah. you keep eating one pound of grape dirt. <clears throat> are you talking about the ones from the Amber Temple? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Th those are, according to the rules, charms. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're right. It's funny, though, because um, one, of, one of my players got one that was actually a charm. It's the one that gives you the, uh, an additional finger on each hand, except, like, I think you have advantage on all charisma-based checks. Yep, and you can never get enough pleasure. Yep, and you could, yeah. That's, uh, you, that's the you one he got. Constantly want other people to make beautiful things for you or something like that. That's basically Ogier Von Everick. <laughs> yeah. But you're Which the six-fingered like, man. That's like before Witcher 3, but yeah, no. That's, um, oh, I have to give Tom a sheet, too. Um, oh, what I'm interested in for, um, Tom. for, uh, Walter is Flagomir's Spark. Which is, you gain one foot of height every hour and become proportionally heavier until you stand 21 feet tall and weigh 7,700 pounds. Why? Why would you want that? When you are nine feet tall, your strength becomes 19, unless it is already higher. For every three, For every three feet, it could, yeah. you gain, your strength increases by one to a maximum of 23. But like... If you were 21 feet high, you wouldn't even be able to fit in half the buildings. In I mean, you'd be large. I would be fine with limiting it to the 9 feet tall, because then you're still medium-sized. No, no, no. No, no, no. Being, being too big to do anything is the downside. <laughs> I mean, like, if that's if that's what you really want, I, you know, no, what I would say is, is you'd either have to constantly buy stock in induce... Uh, uh, indu I always say induce reduce enlarge potions or you'd have to have someone cast it on you like when it only lasts for inside. a minute uh, well <laughs> oh, like yeah, dark... yeah but dylan yeah. that that charm as opposed to all but one other charm okay all but two other charms are is permanent unless you have lesser restoration cast on you greater restoration greater restoration or similar which would not be lesser restoration, but it would be um, some other things. The other one I'm looking at is Dark Gift of Xantaris, uh, the Kingmaker, which increases your charisma by four. To a maximum of 22 or something like that. Yep. Oh, what is it under? What are the Dark Gifts under? They're, um, you gotta look in the Ember Temple stuff, and it depends where you're looking. I, I like I, I reopened my my old Curse of Strahd on roll twenty for this. Uh, sarcophagi gifts or something probably. They're in the Ember Temple. I don't I don't know how roll twenty organized that. I'm I'm not buying the uh yeah all I the different campaign books. It. I sent you a link to a web page that has them on it. Is it the wiki dot page? Yeah. Oh, there, there they are. It's the dark gifts. Yeah. Where's, is the power to live many times? Uh, the beneficiary instantly reincarnates when it dies, as though it was the target of a reincarnate spell. The new body appears within ten feet of the old one after it has been used three times. The dark gift vanishes. 
loses all of its teeth until it reincarnates for the third and final time. That that's the one that Lane would have chose. See, that's to not give all the that Dalvar bad. Nar. He he of the many teeth. Just get some new dentures. <laughs> yeah, literally, you could just get dentures for each new body. What? Um, power to unleash deadly cold. Cone of cold as an action. After it's been used seven times, it vanishes. Until it vanishes, they also gain the benefits of a ring of warmth. Oh, they fi the following f flaw. Fire terrifies me. Star of Ice and Hate. The spider Just one. The nine eyed spider is pretty good. Uh, power to walk on walls and ceilings. Claim difficult surfaces, including upside down on ceilings, without needing to make an ability check. They grow an extra eye somewhere in its body. The eye is blind and never open. And ever open. Oh, ever open. I thought it said never open. Uh. But I mean, like. The gift it, of the nine eyed spider is a permanent one. It's permanent, yeah, but who's to say it's a blind eye? You could probably just pop it out. Depends on where it is, though, I guess. Yeah, if it's like, say it grows square in the middle of your back, it's fine. Yeah, you could just pop the eye out, and then, like, yeah, it's like an open hole, but you throw some bacitracin in there and wrap yourself up. You're all good to go. <laughs> uh, I don't know that a curse is that easily. I think it would just grow back. Yeah. Yeah. I'd go Hydra rules if I was the DM. <laughs> Another one. Two eyes. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, you just get more of them until like until you have like literally like thirteen milky white eyeballs running down the base of your spine. Oh, you god. look like a blind version of Argus from Greek mythology. <clears throat> the power of spreading disease. You can cast contagion as an action. After it's been used three times it vanishes. Uh the start gift oh you reek of filth. That's not really keep, all that bad. Keep in mind No, that's bad. <laughs> all, all of these things are all the downsides unless otherwise stated are permanent, not just while you have the benefit. Uh, so, that will, that's very bad for roleplay-wise. Uh, like, say you go to a courtly dinner. Charisma you, you checks. Like yeah, disadvantage on charisma checks, probably, against people with a sense of smell. Or people who mind it. Like, if you go to, like, a place where it's, like, the worse you smell, the better. <laughs> sure. Sure, but I mean, like, in general society. See, this one isn't bad. Uh, Norganus, the Finger of Oblivion. Gotta because... see the DC 15 con save or drop to zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, that's, but that's only after you've used all three of them. So, like, you know, you could hold on to it for a while. It's, it's not forcing you to cast it. Yeah. And also, then your blood turns black pitch. Like, also, to be clear, if you pick any of the dark gifts, when you receive a dark gift, you have to roll a charisma saving throw. Oh, do you actually? If you, if you fail, if you fail a DC twelve charisma saving throw, you're you become a creature of evil alignment under the control of that entity under the DM's control. What? I am the harbinger of Norganus, the finger of oblivion. Die, fee! Oh God. I mean, that's, that's the dark gift rules. Oh, see, that's actually, hold on. Your eyes melting away. You have empty sockets, but you can still see. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, in a way, like, uh, say you're being captured and they blindfold everyone, but, like, they see that you have empty eye sockets. Well, there's no point to blind that fucker. Yeah. Or you could purposefully just walk around with, with the wrappings around your face so that they think that you're blind to begin with, causing enemies to underestimate you. Well, I think if you have the wrappings, you'll you want you'll to intentionally blind yourself with that. Oh, would you actually? Yeah, yeah. You see the the antennas you see from your eye holes. It's as if oh, you okay. have uh, eyes still there. Oh, so then yeah, so you would you would it's literally just eye like holes. walk yeah walk around with your with your like melted out eye holes, and then they'd be like, oh my god, this dude's like literally blind. What the fuck? And then. You know, like you're like, oh yeah, I want to like pickpocket him or something, <laughs> or not pickpocket him. I'm sorry, that that'd be the the wrong uh, thing. But like, I don't know, like if you're going to attack someone and then they're like, yeah, this blind guy can't fight. It's like, sure, why not? I'll give you advantage on the first attack. Yeah, the the important the important part there is leaving empty sockets that can still see. 
Oh my god. The eye is where my man. is where is why I go with that rolling personally. Um, now, do you get the benefits of the gift before you have to make the save or after you get the save make the save? It's after the save? Uh uh Okay, let me open up my strad. Well, I thought, yeah, I thought the save was because you're, like, touching the sarcophagus and it's, like, entering you and that's, like, what the save was for. So, so let me, let me, uh, oh, nope, not Ravenloft. Strahd. Let's, let's, let's read the wording here. Each time a non-evil creature accepts a dark gift. So it's not when you make contact. No, because you can communicate with the spirit before you um take the uh, gift. Yeah. So it's not when you touch the thing. It must make a DC 12 charisma save. Saving throw. If the saving throw fails, the creature's alignment changes to evil. A character who turns evil becomes an NPC under the dungeon master's control. Ah, oh, right. The Lady of Delights. They can cast Suggestion as an action. And the saving throws against the spell have disadvantage. Yeah, our rogue got that. of treasure sense you can I mean, what's the answer though is so it what? do you get the benefits of the gift before you make the save or after well it's when you accept it so it's simultaneous um oh because because you're talking about getting the plus four yeah um because that's the only one that this would affect because like do you get the additional plus two to your saving throw well it's as you're getting the power it's against the entity that is giving you the power. So I would say you do the save before. Xantress's is pretty good. I know. That's it, it, would it, at. it wouldn't make sense to me if the entity would help you be better at the save that it's making you do. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but that is that's one that's completely DM interpretation. <laughs> Zrinhala is literally when the when the dark gift is received. Uh, one side of your face sags and loses all feeling. You basically just have a stroke. Yeah, you get lightning powers and have a stroke. That's that's actually really funny. Uh, Charm of Snowball <laughs> Strike is just funny to me. You can summon so snowballs that have a chance of blinding people. <laughs> but you can only summon five. See, like, <clears throat> if one of you got Charm of the Slayer for this campaign, but, like, hmm. You only have it for nine days. Yeah, you only yeah, have but... it for nine days. And what, what Anthony totally, and I talked someone about. Someone could totally fuck you over. Like, if you're going to go fight a dragon, the DM could be like, you get Giant Slayer. Which I don't think I'd do dick that. dick move. Yeah, I, so, yeah, I wouldn't so, do that. It, uh, I think... We talked to you about it too, Dylan. But they get to choose when they get the charm because a lot of them are time limited. So it wouldn't makes it wouldn't be fair, really, if we said they just automatically get it when they choose it. I mean, like after the fight, right? So they get to choose. They get to like say. I mean, obviously, up to DM purview, but um, they're like, I want to get this now. Like, they could get, like, an item that they can, as an action, activate to grant them the effects of the charm. They get a little bead that they crush or something, I don't know. Yeah, I, I like that. I, that works. Unless it's one that's, like, it's a semi-permanent effect, like Charm of Nine Lives. Nah, they, they choose when they when they get it. This charm allows you to grow a lost appendage or organs, such as an arm, foot, or eye. After it is used once, the charm goes away. Yeah, I like that one. <clears throat> well no see i just thought of something right the one that makes you lose your eyes it's like the eyes are still there so 
technically, if you found someone to make you quote unquote see through cloth, then you yeah. could, without imposing on that, put it on there and be like, oh my god, look at me, I'm blind, and then people wouldn't be like disgusted by your eye holes. Oh, a one way, <laughs> one way blindfold. Yeah, what, what? Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's literally, it's just like a common or unkind of magic, uncommon magic item called like a one-way blindfold. Where the hell did Anthony go? I just DM'd him. I was gonna say, like, didn't we? We went on break, but it's been a while, hasn't it? He said something about dying from alcohol. That's why he's gotta stop drinking so much. It's bad for his liver. All right. So you, you. Go to the um the city of the dead, uh the giant field of mausoleums and gardens that is where all of the city is buried <laughs> and has been for <clears throat> many many years. Those are, I don't know if buried's the right word for mausoleums. They're interred. That's interred, the yeah. Uh. Morgan, as we're, like, just reaching this place or beginning to, like, enter it, if, if there's, like, no sort of, like, I don't know, checkpoint or whatever, he'll turn to the group and say, Oh, by the way, the guy said something to me weird. He said, don't talk to the beggars and the hags. He didn't say why, but I wouldn't do it. It seems like he was speaking from experience. The hags. That is a bit concerning. My friends had an encounter with a coven. And, uh, they managed to take out two of the three. Hmm. Coven. Oh, like witches. Yeah. Right, yeah. I don't know if that's what he was talking about. I just assumed that it was like, you know, people... That were like crying or mourning, cause it is a graveyard, you know. And like, last thing you want to do is like bother someone. He might be talking about time. once you go inside, wherever this thing will take you. Right. Yeah, there is that too. Yeah, and it's it's worth noting, um, you're not sure which of the two meanings of hags he meant, as in the actual creatures are, um, you know, just like old women. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what Morgan assumes. He assumes old women. <laughs> He'll also say he'll also say that Rebecca. He'll be like, although when it comes to the whole beggars thing, we can't talk to them. But I mean, is it really gonna kill us if we give them like a silver piece to go away? Cause see, like I always feel really bad. You know, like they come by and they're like, spare some change, spare some change. And sometimes I don't got change, but also other times I'm not in a given mood. I, I you know, I, I, I think we should heed his advice though. Right. Oh no, I'm not. He seemed because you said he seemed disturbed, so he's probably disturbed oh, yeah. for a reason. So you know how like sometimes we go to the bar and then I just like chug a beverage like it's nothing. Yeah. Every he did day. that with two beverages at the same time. Oh shit. That sounds like someone I know. And he was just a human. Yeah, rather... yeah, he, yeah and he was just a human, like a just regular guy. Fellow. Oh yeah, yeah. His name was Lane. No, his name was not Lane. Actually, didn't catch his name. Yeah, he had he had a buzz cut head and uh. Oh, that's not Lane. I know he had long hair. That's no, uh. Let me find this 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 image. Yeah, poor bastard. So yeah, let's let's make sure that we don't don't talk to the Loki. Just to recap. Don't talk to the beggars, and don't mm -hmm. talk to the hags, okay? Simple as, simple as, I don't do that anyway. I'm right. a beggar. I'm a beggar, and sometimes I've been called a hag, so why would I Why would I talk to them? Wait, does that mean that I shouldn't talk to Loki? No, you could talk to me, because I haven't begged in, like, I don't know, 20 years. Buzzed head, relatively square jaw, looking kind of sideways at you the whole time, a little angrily. Loki? No, he has long hair, which is tied back. <laughs> shut, shut up. <laughs> Mario just go. All right, come on, let's go. Something, something about a statue. Totally not just describing the picture Anthony posted after his haircut. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. A Garyon. That's what we gotta look for. A Garyon. 
Ag Agri Agrathon? Ag Agamemnon. Agarion. Agarion. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I put it in I put it in Tensions of Disappointment, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna go walk over by Oh, there it is. There's a Gar Ag Agarion statue. Yeah, large statue right above the the right below the sea that's floating in the sky. What? Um Uh, and you were instructed that it was just like it happened to him while walking between some of the mausoleums in that area. So I guess y'all just start randomly walking around. And stick yeah. together as a group while doing that. Okay. Yeah, just meander through. Okay. Keep close, but not super close. Okay, gotcha. Uh, you're all staying in the same general area. But like walking around a bit, trying to spread a bit to cover up more ground, because it is a fairly large place still. Um, after about fifteen minutes, you notice that Tia is no longer with you. Uh oh. Oh shit. How do we lose her? I don't know. I hope there wasn't like a butterfly or something. She likes chasing those, I think. Tia, where are you? Um, I'm gonna try and retrace the steps that Tia last had when I last saw her. Okay, it's only been like maybe between thirty seconds and a minute since you last saw her, so it's not like it's been a while. Um, okay. so you go to back to that area. You start look here. You start looking around that area. Detect now Morgan's is, gone. Detect magic is up. <laughs> okay. Um. Other than the mausoleum that's you're up ag toward against the wall of. Um. You you see magic, a faint aura of magic shimmering around the uh, the mausoleum itself, and then you feel another source of magic, but you can't see it. Can I try and triangulate it? Sure. Go ahead and make a um triangulating magic. That's a fun one. A, a, a math check. I guess like straight intelligence. I'll add a d6 to that. Okay. 10. Ten. Yeah, I mean it takes you maybe another minute. Um I did say Morgan's disappeared now too. <laughs> Rebecca, are our friends being kidnapped, or are they just getting lost uh, and scared? But you think you've triangulated it. <laughs> Loki, go there. I point to okay. where I think it is. Okay, I go there. I, 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 I could go. Oh, yeah, Andromeda, go. Are you coming okay. with me? Or no, just you Andromeda go first. Okay, Andromeda, you go first. And if, if... <laughs> Nope, I said the wrong name. God, my brain is all over the place. Uh, Shine Sprite, you go first. <laughs> You don't... Yeah. Andromeda was right, but also not right. <laughs> it was correct in the sense that, yes, that's her name, but incorrect in the sense that that's not what Loki calls her, and if he calls her anything else, he's a skinwalker. <laughs> Andromeda vanishes. All right, I'll give it, like, 30 seconds, and I'll snap to bring her back. Okay. Did you see Morgan and Tia? So, so anyway, Morgan, then we... Oh! Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Uh, everyone, okay. Me, Loki, and Trauma, let's go to that spot. We'll go find Morgan, and should we split up and go find Tia as well? So that way she doesn't get even more lost? They're, they're in there. Oh, both of them? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we go. Okay. And that's why I said Tia. Don't go chasing after butterflies. So, Morgan. <laughs> yes. Since, since Abby's not here. Uh, you're you're looking around the area that that uh, Tia was last seen in. And suddenly, it's it's dark. You're a half-elf, so you, you have the dark vision. But, like, you can still tell that it's it's dark now. Um... You are in the exact same place you were. Hmm. 
except for the fact that it is dark. There are no stars or moon overhead. What the oh, fuck? What is what? What the fuck? Well, it looks like I found Bizarro World. Oh my god, we're on the Bizarro Roller Coaster at Six Flags New Jersey and Six Flags New England? Loki, you're not here. Wait, or are you? Um, it's all in my head. Don't be a beggar! I'm not talking to any beggars! <laughs> the, the, the lawn work is a little... Like, the, the, the grass and the bushes and stuff. They look a little different to you. You can't really tell what, but you can just tell that something's different. Uh, you also see Tia, like, what would Tia do if she disappeared from her friends? Uh, Tia would look around, go, confused, probably. Go and, then go and sit and lean against the building, going, what's happening? She's just, like, holding her head, like, oh my god, oh my god, I disappeared! Where are all my friends? Oh, gee! <laughs> don't, don't talk to the hags, don't talk to the beggars. Don't talk to the hags, don't talk to the beggars. Tia, I am neither of those things. You okay? Oh, yeah. Tia. Oh, I'm Tia. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why is Tia Morty? <laughs> oh, jeez, man. It's like an ongoing joke that we we used to do for her characters back in other campaigns. Yeah, back when uh, she wouldn't be around for a bit. It would just be like, okay, okay, we're going to be Abby real quick. <laughs> So, like, it's me, Alia, it's me, Elaine, oh, jeez, we're sorry. Secretary, what spell's gonna cast today? Yeah, horsey she's... magic. Horsey yeah. magic. Yeah, horsey magic. God, horsey uh, magic. Drives me absolutely wild. Yeah, so you you find Tia. Oh, uh, Morgan, wh where, where's, where's Rebecca and Loki? Oh, they'll probably find their way here pretty soon. Or not. Anyway, uh, we should probably like stick in this area so that like when they do show up, they don't gotta go looking for us. It was smart that you decided to stay here, because if not, then I don't know if I would have found you. This place is kind of creepy. Yeah, I I came over here and hit against the building because there was a there was a guy that looked like a a policeman but creepy walking along the road over there. Usually we call those wardens or something. <laughs> they, those bear that bears investigation, but not right now. Yeah, it wouldn't be policemen. You're right. Probably like a guard, right? A guard. Yeah. No, either way, still works. Uh, at this point, so. <laughs> Yeah, so this is when you're doing the so anyway. And uh, Andromeda comes through and is telling you what, 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 what happened from their point of view, which you just experienced. Um, and then she just vanishes mid-sentence. Oh, I was telling you, Morgan. Poof! <laughs> what? What the fuck? Uh, and about a minute later... Your, the rest of your party shows up. And that's why I said to you, you should never, ever chase butterflies. So anyway. Oh, hey, guys. What the uh, fuck? Hello, Morgan. What the fuck is this place? Bizarro World. What is Bizarro World? It's like our world, but bizarre. So we've been reckoned? You could say that, I reckon. This, this looks reckon exactly well. like Waterdeep, but it's off. Yeah, no stars, no moon. Do you think this is where demons are born, Rebecca? I don't know. I'll uh, cast light and put it in like a little sphere on... Um, actually, no, I'll pick up a rock and cast light on it. So like, we can toss it and have like glow in area. Okay. I'll toss um, it, we can I will say, it I will say like along the pathways, there are some of, there are some street lamps. Again, they're like candles instead of the gas flames you're used to in Waterdeep. Um, but yeah, you, you cast light on a... 
You find a uh, a stone. Uh, and Traveler, go to the exact same spot where we entered f- into this place. Okay. Uh, see if you go back to the normal wander dude. She, she flies over there. I, I don't think it's working. Uh-oh. How do we get out of here? <laughs> I don't know. Welcome to the place where dreams go to die. What is this place? It's not an alternate plane because Tia was able to scry on the Goliath. Could I could fly up and see if I can get a view of what's going on? Yeah, do that. Tia said something about a guard heading over in this direction, except that he looked all spooky. It it looked like his face was completely wrapped in bandages. Yeah, that. Like a mummy. I guess. Yeah, but it was only... I mean, I didn't get a, that good of a look at him. Um, because cause I didn't like how he looked. But, um, it looked like it was just around his face, the bandages. Hmm. I mean, like, he was wearing, um... He was wearing, uh, like a uniform of some sort. Hmm. And he had on this, uh... He was wearing a hat. What kind of hat? <laughs> Trying to find my picture again. Uh, it was like a a. Uh, how to describe this in D and D times? It was like a uh, kind of like a dome. With a uh, a badge on the front of it. She describes a, a uh, <laughs> yeah, like the old Bobby hats uh... from London. Huh. That's weird. Think we should go try and talk to him? Uh, let's wait know. for Andromeda. I got, I got a bad feeling. Let's wait for Andromeda to come back down. Yeah, alright. Okay. Um, Andromeda just goes up and keeps going up trying to get like a bird's eye view. Um, if it is water deep, would have to go up pretty high to get like a good view of the entire thing. Because it's big. Uh, but after a couple of minutes... Uh, she gets back within range and like tel- tel- telepathically speaks to you. Um, it it looks like it looks like water deep. What I can see of it from those street lights. Um, there's a ceiling up here though. A ceiling. Yeah, it's it's rocks. So we're underground. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think I've ever heard of. This would be a very big cavern. To f- to fit the the whole the whole city in. Hmm. And like it's the 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 layout at least is. Oh, it looks almost exactly the same. <clears throat> oh, that um, there's there's weird bird things with with big eyes up here. Bird things with big eyes. They're they're looking at me and coming towards me. Two snaps. Did they do? Uh oh. So they go you you pumperum. Me me pickle pea. Scream, scream. Yeah, and drive it is back. Okay. <laughs> scream, scream for ice cream. So you think maybe we should, like, start roaming around, try and find the people that we scryed on? Maybe look for an exit while we're at it? That seems like it'd be the best idea, but the better question is if everything down here looks relatively the same, 
with very low li visible light, we're going to have a hard time finding who we're looking for. Unless we uh, scry again. Tia, you feeling up for that? Uh, Tia will look at her look at her power reserves real quick on her handy dandy notebook, and uh, just go. I could do one more, but then I can't do any sixth level magic. If that makes sense to you guys. I think you should save it for now. Yeah, I was I was gonna s suggest that maybe not. Maybe we just hope for the best, and if look it comes to it, look for someone friendly. <laughs> Look for someone friendly, and if that doesn't work, there's always tomorrow. And Depen and he didn't he didn't look. Oh jeez, Rick, he didn't look that. Um... Oh jeez, Rick, what the fuck? <laughs> he... What the fuck, Rick? When when I scried on him before, he didn't look like he was concerned about being here. Oh, that's his hmm. home. So he like, lives maybe... here. Maybe he's just used to it or something, but I don't. He, I don't know. Or he lives here. Or or he lives here. He could that's live only, here. That's the only thing I could think of. I mean, <clears throat> I, I I've never lived in a city, but you have to like pay for your houses and stuff, right? So, ah, pays a loose term depending on where you're from. Usually, if it's a first come first serve basis, and uh, that's just me though. Yeah, but but if this is a whole other city, that means there's probably lots of ones that are free for the first come first serve thing you just said like open i mean this is true as well oh <gasps> we can get a house down here That's a i don't idea. think we want to stay here no i hate it down here every second feels like agony <laughs> i wonder if this is like the real city of the dead um could, could at be this the real point city of the dead. you all hear a voice emanating from it seems like it's emanating from the street lamps. Oh. Attention, all citizens of the undead my fe city. My fellow citizens. My fellow oh. citizen. If you are hearing this tape, then the world as we know it has finished. My fellow Americans, a nuclear strike is imminent. If you hear this message, you're in the blast zone. Oh no. The sky has broken. The ground heaves with the tramp of terrible feet. And all the horror and madness from the dark corners of the world has broken free to exact its vengeance on the world of man. Though... Do we actually hear this? Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Those who sought to contain... To contain the threats were killed. Or scattered. And we learned to, to fight these creatures and gods is almost invariably to face one's death. Countless billions have been slaughtered in their attempt to sate the endless appetite of death, and there is nothing, was nothing, we could do to stop them. Evil has raised its bloody heads upon the nations of the world and crowned its unholy victory to the broken sky. Yes, this is the end. But there is a new hope. Welcome to Unwaterdeep. A city of the survivors. A city of the free. Oh Together, my God. fellow citizens. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Together, fellow citizen, we will wait and prepare for the new beginning. The grand new world that is soon to come. Let the world above burn. We will endure. Let the monsters and gods have their world. We will prepare. And let the ground tremble with the new Armageddon, as evil consumes itself. For I tell you, citizen, upon the day of the ruination of man, their insatiable appetites will turn them against one another in their endless lust for death. We will wait. And, I'll, and I tell you, citizen, that there will be a new morning, and you will emerge from unwater deep and stand blinking in the sun as our children play and laugh in the bones of horrors long dead. And you will walk hand in hand to the sea, our faces skyward as the rising sun ushers in a new age of man, and you will gather, citizen, at my feet as I summon unwater deep from its rest, and it shall burst, Phoenus like from the ashes of the old. And on that day, citizen, there shall be a new order as we raise, raise the, the flag over the entire world. I welcome you to unwater deep, the last city and the first.
Also, Beck died IRL. <laughs> what? Because like, as soon as you said the name of the city, I immediately recall... I, I know what this is based on. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of expected that you would. What the fuck? I mean, you were going after a doomsday cult that wanted to be these, these survivors. Yeah. Unwater deep. Yeah, this is the SCP <laughs> inspired quest. So we're fucked. I fucking hate this place. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, the, the voice stops from the. Okay, I think we um, we should be quiet and probably mm -hmm. stealth through the city looking yep. uh, for whoever created this. So probably let's go to um, the 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 palace or Castle Waterdeep. I'd say we uh, we do that. Uh, do any of us have a means of? Sneaking around with more sneak, more sneaky power, if you know what I mean. You mean like pass without a trace? Yes, that's the spell. Uh, no. <laughs> Tia? No. Loki? No, you don't, you idiot. You know all your cards like the back of your hand. You're right, Loki. Thank you. You're not even gonna ask me? Morgan, do you know how to do pass without a trace? I know how to make you pass out by hitting you in the face. That that's, works too. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rat. <laughs> also, to be clear, the voice, the 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 thing that spoke whenever that whole speech didn't have a break in the middle of it, a laugh break in the middle of it. So it was all in one take. Maybe it's a programmed illusion that uh. It just yeah. speaks because Loki has that <laughs> spell now, so it, he would one hundred percent know how it works. I'll uh, cast but, detect but, magic. We'll just have that up. It has to be in a thirty foot cube. It lasts until it's dispelled. Uh, the scripted performance could last up to five minutes. How long was the how long was the talking? Oh, let me get a word count. Like, get a was, rough word count. Yeah, if it was about like five minutes, then we could figure it out. Well, I mean, you also know that there's a spell called Magic Mouth, Magic which would mouth also would do, do similar. Well, that's 356 words. There's there's some timing. I mean, yeah, five five minutes maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's so definitely within five minutes. Uh, uh, magic just... mouth needs to be twenty five words or less, so it can't be magic. Yeah, mouth. I'll just I'll just say if anything, it's just a programmed illusion that is just speaking, because that's uh, how the spell works. Is it kind of does like a performance, and it, you can make it behave and sound like whatever you want. So, as long as it's five minutes, it goes, and it sort of just repeats every time, like every few minutes or so, or whenever it's triggered. Yeah, whenever it's triggered, essentially. So, like, basically, if someone tried to break into my house, I could pretend, uh, remember that big guy, the big alligator man I made when we were in that one place? Uh, what was his name? Sprinkle? Whenever Sprinkle, I could make Sprinkle real with Programmed Illusion. And I could have him guard my house, and essentially every time someone comes in, he'll, uh, you know, just go, Get the fuck out! Or something like that. Yeah, um, you get you guys aren't understanding a single word of what I'm saying, and quite frankly, it's breaking my heart. I relatively <laughs> understand. Something Wait, no, about this tells Skittles? me this tells me the speaking time. Uh, this this random website I found to word count the speech says it would take two minutes to speak it. Oh, so well, it's up to five minutes. It doesn't have to be exactly five minutes. Yeah, so it'd be within five. It'd probably be longer than the two because of uh timing and stuff. But yeah. Something about making an illusion of Skittles and then. I, I listened, Loki. I just didn't understand it all. Oh, but I know how to punch you in the face. I'll, uh, I'll, oh, no, I'll... I get it. It's fine. It's fine. No one, no one ever listens to what Loki has to say, you know? 
I will dismiss the the light on the rock. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, we should probably sneak through the city because I don't think we'll be too welcomed here. Yes, we should uh, all do uh, conjoined sneak checks right now because I am a genius and I just came up with that. Andromeda is invisible. Okay. What the hell is a conjoined? What? A group. A group check. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, so this will be Loki. Andromeda is invisible. And this would be Tia with her incredibly heavy armor. <laughs> Oof. We're going to get Tia some lighter armor. I didn't mean to do that to you, but... <laughs> It still works. Morgan is so sneaky. <laughs> Morgan is the sneakiest man. Well, I mean, that's nothing new. When I'm stealthier than the rogue, even though I weigh significantly more than her. <laughs> yeah, you well, are. The real question bears, can... <laughs> Can a Rita carry you around? Let's find out. Yeah. How much can she carry? I think her uh, carry weight, what was it? It was 15 she... times her strength score. 15 times her strength score, but since she's a small creature, technically, cut that in half. Oh, you read? are you talking Rita or Tia? I, I didn't pay attention. Rita. Rita, but okay. I think, I think Tia has the same strength score, though. No, Tia is one point stronger than Rita. That's just because of her gauntlets. Yeah. But yeah. uh in this current state, uh it's uh b -b -b what is it? It's uh that times thirty. <clears throat> uh oh, for I did, I did it wrong. Again. Okay. So T for Tia for... can lift Morgan and carry Morgan. Yeah, well the five seventy would be lift. Uh, so as long as Morgan weighs less than two hundred and eighty-five no. pounds, no, he does no. not. He's he's a chunky boy, just like Dylan. Yeah, so she can she can definitely lift Morgan. Cannot cannot like carry him around. My feet don't leave the ground. It's not allowed. All right. Um. Yeah, so where are you wanting to make your way to? Because y'all are starting to sneak. Probably towards the palace. Um, Perugion's palace. Okay. Okay. Alright, you begin stealthing your way over there, and uh, the group is able to make up for Tia's stealth. <laughs> Well, that's good, at least. Help give her some pointers on uh, not Slow. jostling as much. Yeah, jostling the armor. Um, as you're walking, some of the speakers uh, queue up again. Or not speakers, some of the uh, lampposts queue up again. Crime will not be tolerated in Unwaterdeep. I warn how, you. The how tormentors of oh, my bad, sorry. I warn you, the tormentors of society will become its defenders. What, what now, was how, your question? How long was the duration between these two illusions? Or that we sus supposed illusions, uh speeches, I guess would be the better word. Uh that one was Maybe ten minutes after. Okay. See, that's important because the illusion could has to wait ten minutes before it could trigger again. But that's if it is a program illusion. It's probably not. You know, that's just my working theory right now. I don't think it matters what exactly it is. I think it does. Yeah. Um. You begin s sneaking your way. You notice a couple um, flocks of strange-looking birds fly around overhead. Um, Andromeda points them out as the ones she was talking about when she was in the sky. Uh, do we see any of those guards that Tia saw? Yes. Um, 
you do you you manage to hide from them unless you want to go out to them i, I uh, want to see look some look at walking them around to see what they look like just so i know okay uh they look like Beck's gonna kill me they look like that Uh, what do I do? There you go. <laughs> oh my god, the German Gestapo. Um, they look like they're in black uniforms. Their faces are completely wrapped in bandages. What you can see of their hands and faces and fingers and such looks like they've been pulled apart at every joint and put back together with hinges and gears. I don't like that. Um, the, the elbows and shoulders you can't see because of the jackets they're wearing, mm -hmm. but there's bulges there that make you think that they are similarly done. That is genuinely horrifying, like real talk. Yeah. Um, as you're walking, you get to... Okay. Uh, we'll say you exited the City of the Dead from Seldeth Street, if you have the map pulled up. Or not Salta Street, Coffin March. Um, you pass the Bob, the, the um, the figures on the high road. And as you're going through the alley across from Coffin March, you see what appears to be an old lady begging on the corner of the road. Talk to Vegas, Morgan. Yeah. <clears throat> they, they look like they're dressed in rags. Um, very old. Does she have the same wristband or bracer that uh, we found? <clears throat> there is no bracer or anything like that, no. Okay. And neither did the uh, the guards. This is interesting. I don't like this place anymore, but I know we're still going to have to deal with it in one way or another. Ain't that right, Tia? Yeah. yeah Tia's trying real hard not to. Tia's trying real hard not to go, oh, jeez. And, and, and go over and help him. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Loki, are you sure we can't go help him? No, Tia, we can't help beggars. Beggars need to help themselves. Oh, the guy said just don't a... for a reason. I don't want. It's the harsh out. reality we live in, Tia, and I'm sorry. Um, at this point, you get, you see more guards turning onto the into the alley ahead of you. So you duck into the side street, and you find yourself back in a busy, well lit place. What the fuck? Back You're in back Waterdeep? in Waterdeep. Huh? What the fuck? Rebecca, I'm scared. Hold me. Try to go back the way we came? <laughs> Tia, hold me. Nothing. nothing. It, seems sim that it seems that the entrance and exit, if there's only one, there might not only be one of each, but it seems like the entrances, entrance slash entrances and exit slash exits are not in the same place as each other. No. That's concerning. Um, I still have the rock because I didn't put that away. Yes. Um, Tia, the rock. Now that you can see, um, you can see in good light, and the rock isn't casting off light. 
um it's 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 like the rock is made out of um marble hmm. fancy rock not gonna lie not gonna lie tia Smart, next time you rest, do you think you could prepare find the path? Uh, or is that just a what? druid spell? I might be thinking that's just a druid spell. I don't... Th oh, no, that's a spell she could have. She could prepare that tomorrow. But that's a good thing I put all the cleric spells on her sheet because I wouldn't have known, but for some reason I miss heal. Where, where did you guys just come from? Um, There's something weird magical going on with some area. We were just transported from one side of the city to the other. We don't know how or why. I'm gonna report this to the uh... what are they called? They're the people. X member of them. The uh... Magister. Oh, that's what that sound was, Dylan. Yeah, the, the illustrious order of Magisters and Yeah, them. Uh, watchful order of magisters and protectors. Yes, that. Uh, actually, um, I'll show my little badge. <laughs> uh, I'm actually investigating it. So just pay this no mind. Okay. So yeah, I'll uh, dismiss Andromeda to go tell Kimu <laughs> what the fuck just happened. I will say, uh, you only made it, well, you had to get out of the, the City of the Dead. But after getting out of the City of the Dead, you only made it like, um, what would that be? One, two, about three blocks. And you did, but in that time, you didn't see anyone other than the, um, the birds, the guards, and, and the beggar. beggar. Um, that is weird. And each other, obviously. Where exactly are we now? Okay. I'm gonna... Gonna do the go live thing. So, you started over here in the City of the Dead at um near a Garion statue. You came the you found the portal, or not not really even a portal, just the spot that you fell through into the other place. Mm -hmm. Um, against does my mouth show? Yeah, on I the see. Stream? It. Yep. Okay, against this wall of the little mausoleum. Okay. Uh, you came down and went out the gate here at Coffin March. You pass the beggar on this corner here of this building. And you got to this road when the you saw the guards turning onto your alleyway. So you dove down this way and you're like right in between these three buildings. Um is where you fell back through. You're not sure if it's a port if it's a portal, it's an invisible portal. You're not sure if it's a portal or what it is, really. Hmm. This is concerning. <laughs> so you figure maybe we go back through the way that we went in, except instead of making that left, we just keep going straight? Uh, see, I was thinking, like, maybe... Me and Loki could use the sky self and like disguise ourselves as those guards, and we could like escort you and Tia through the city. I would have to uh, reattune to my tattoo needle, and I would need my ring back. 
Oh yeah, you gave me a ring. Was that to me? Yeah. No, yeah, I'll give that back to you. Yeah, you gave it to me for the uh, arena. Yeah. All right, so uh, we'll we'll have to uh, reattune to those. Reattune to those. You two got an hour. Oh yeah, Anthony, can you uh, can you meet me in secrets for a second? Yeah. As you're as you're returning the ring. <laughs> the ring totally has a soul in it. It's Count Strahd von Zadovich. It actually has a clone of Rebecca in it. Oh no! It's actually a a the original Rebecca. It's just uh, when she died, she ended up in the thing. Oh no! Not a Rebecca. Not a soul of Rebecca in the ring. <laughs> Loki looks a little like he takes the ring off a little too quick. You you also notice he gets a whole new sense of vigor to himself. He's like, ah, finally I feel free. He doesn't say this aloud, but you, that's the look he's giving off. Loki, is there something up? Nah, nothing. Insight check. <gasps> All right, uh. Anthony, I GM roll me. Yeah, I know what to roll. I'll add a d6 to that. Uh, Let's go. Oh, that's 15. a 15. There, there's definitely something Loki isn't telling you. Loki. I'm picking my ear. Huh? I know you're lying. Rebecca, do you actually want me to explain this right now when we just found out about the mystery dimension of Waterdeep? I mean, if it's... It's not a dimension. Because because the scrying worked. Shiny Sprite? I know what I said. That was Tia. No, that was, that was Shiny Sprite. No, I sent I mean, her Andromeda. away. To, I sent her away to talk to Gamu. Oh, that was Tia. <laughs> no, Tia? I appreciate it, but it's a different dimension. Yes, it's Bizarro Do you... Do you actually want to know? Yes. Okay. Fine. Can we go somewhere private? <laughs> the five of us. Okay, we please. Can, we can go back to Cinder's, I guess. Yes, please. Because it's probably getting a little bit to the later of the day. Um. Who, who's the wisest of you four? Probably Tia. Probably Mor uh, Tia, technically, yeah. Tia or Morgan. Uh... Tia has uh, 20 in wisdom. What's it's Morgan's right. wisdom? Okay. My, yeah, mine's a uh, 16. Okay. Um, is it that like a big hole for um? Couldn't that be a big hole for the uh the cult to get in? If it, if any of the portals are like outside of Waterdeep. Potentially, maybe. Like, what, what do you mean? Like, which cult? Because there's multiple cults we're dealing with now. Uh, the, 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 the one that we're most worried about. The, the, the ones that are trying to bring the, the dragon. Oh. So the cult of the dragon? Yeah. That, Your sworn enemy? That could be a problem. Probably should let the council know about that at the next meeting. I feel it merits more investigation, though, than just simple hearsay, because we don't know if it actually does go outside of the city. I mean, if it, if Loki's wrong and it's not, and it's, and it is underground, then, I mean, that's already outside the city, right? And there's like a portal directly into the city. In yeah. That place. Like we, we just we came through in the middle of the city. Okay, how about we report to Syndra and then maybe she does some investigation. Okay. Uh Syndra was not home anymore, you'll recall. So sad. She she well, she's actually back home. In Baldur's. Um yeah. could probably send a message to the uh Harper woman.
But first, I want to learn about this ring. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right, you so go we're... back. You go back to Cinder's. Okay. Does Cinder have any like servants or something? Um. Yeah, she, she has. She has employees. Yes. Okay. I will grab the ring from her back from Rebecca. Be like, I'll take that real quick, and I'm gonna say, "Excuse me, you, uh, short one." I'm taller than you. Short one. Uh, is there a is there a, a box lined with lead somewhere around here? There's a safe. Okay, put this in the safe real quick. Could we also okay. just put it in the bag of holding? No, I don't trust like that. Okay, uh, I'll do that. Put it in the chest to preserve it, and then nope. put that into the bag of holding. Nope. Too many complicated steps. Just put it in the safe real quick. And we'll get that when we're like done. The just safe is more complicated. How hard is it to open the safe? He's well, already gone. Yeah. Oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> I don't know if that... What... I'm so confused. We'll get it back. Look. Okay. Why does that random servant know the combination to Sindra's safe? I feel like he's been skimming money off the top. You know, never mind. It was, it was the head butler. <laughs> oh, was it actually? Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna I say, if you just, just goes found some short random one. maid, yeah. <laughs> yeah, short staffed, more like. Anyway, uh, when I put the ring on Rebecca, yeah, tune to it. When I attuned to it, it uh spoke to me. Is and that normal? I don't know. It can store a soul inside it. I don't I... like what it said though. What did it say? It said that I smelled familiar. And that it's been a long time since they killed someone of my kind. Mm, no. No, oh, that so... was never said. Oh, my bad. I, I, it's been a while. Okay. Um, you the, the gist of them, I don't remember the exact wordings, uh, was you smell familiar. Okay. But wait, there's something else there as well. Oh my bad. Oh, sorry. Um, that instead of what I said. And the last thing that was just said. Do you smell familiar? And like something else, something that that I haven't killed in a long time. Is that what no? There, there was nothing about killing. Oh okay. So just you smell familiar, like something I haven't smelled in a very long time. Yeah. It, he... Um, Lo he kind of gave off the sense that he recognized Loki, but uh, it's not. A it's a man. Or they, they recognize Loki. See, I thought it was a woman. Been going around, hitting on chicks. This is what you Um, get. and then, and then the thing that was just said to you. Yes, uh... Um, and then when I took off the ring, they spoke to me again. They were like, leaving so soon. And I was like, well, yeah, quite frankly, you scare me. And I, I, I want a divorce in this relationship. And then they were like, oh, don't worry, you'll be back. And I said, I don't know about that. And then I just ripped the ring off my finger. That's, how come this entity never spoke to me? I don't know. Maybe you suck. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> or you're dead. I don't know. You tell me. Oh. Maybe you didn't smell familiar. Probably the dead part. I even tried talking to it a few times before well, and after I was dead. Hey, can well, I try the ring on? No, it's in the safe. Okay, can, well, when we get it back, can I try it? If you want. Rebecca, can I try it? It's your ring. Why are we fucking with demons? There's no guarantee that it's a demon. I think it's a demon. Why would it say I smell familiar? I don't think a demon can have its soul inside the ring because it would just return to... But the abyss, right? I mean, you said if I died while I was wearing it, my soul would go into it. But if a if demon was wearing it, if you choose it to, if you, if you, it's, it's the only reason why it's in that ring is because it wants to be in that ring. It can leave it. Yeah, anytime. but but I mean, it, it's not, it's not, it doesn't have to be a humanoid. So yeah, a demon could have its soul in the ring. I suppose, yeah. Um, it, it could just choose to do that. Attuned objects m m change their shape to match their wield. I saw that in a show once. But, Loki, you're not a demon. I know I'm not a demon. You're just, you're like one of them goat people, like her, right? No, I'm a he tiefling. Points it to you. 
No, that's a right, fur right. bug. T fling. You you're a goat people, and she's a cow people. But I have regular legs. Morgan looks at your legs. They're regular legs. He's mm. Morgan. You've never seen him without shoes on. I will take off my shoes right now and show you all ten of my toe digits. Yeah, t take your shoes off. I don't believe you. You're casting illusions out here. Morgan. I, take off, I take off my shoes and my socks and show all my little tootsies. Morgan will just, like, grab one of your legs up and hold Oh, my goodness. Go, Rebecca, quick, cast Detect Magic. I know that there's hooves under here. Detect Magic. Uh, there's... There is no magic aside from what it would you would normally expect on your persons. Nope. Told you. And uh, and a source of magic that you cannot see. So then what's with the horns? I was born with that's them? That's what that's what his race has. He's a tiefling. Tiefling was... always have horns. Like what how you were born again? with your pointy ears. Well that's because my mama was a dusk elf and my daddy was a human. Well, but what do you mean? Your ears are with... pointy because of your mom, not because of your dad. Yeah, my mom. Like how my ears are pointy because of my dad, not my mom. Right, yeah. Why? Does that matter? Well, Am his... I less of an elf if it I... came from my mom? No. I I'm think just... I think what he's asking is what what makes a tiefling. And yeah, I don't yeah. know either. Is that well, is that like part human, part goat? Well, you see, a long time ago, when Asmodeus took the mantle of Lord of all the Nine Hells, all the people with some sort of bloodline to him all became tieflings, and it's been history ever since, or something along those lines. Look, I don't fucking know! Oh, that guy. Yeah. I heard about him when I was in Hell. Yeah, and... It, and I never met for, him. For Loki would know this from the books he read at the library, and Rebecca would know this. Um, tieflings can be part devil or part demon. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, so I can summon <laughs> a uh, a tiefling with uh, summon greater achievement? No! No. <laughs> no, it's not. No, they're demon. humanoids. They're not. They're, yeah, they're not. We're people like you. Like Tia. Like you. Not like you. Point to so Chuck, there's... right? So does that mean She's not here. It's not here. that your great 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 grandmommy or daddy had sex with an Asmodeus? Morgan? Loki, you remember something Morgan said and you you just remember a name and I'm gonna Morgan, I'm gonna punch you. You could try. <laughs> Loki, it's what not I sent you. Hurt. Okay, what you sent me. Look. Look, Morgan. All I remember about what I was told about my family from the people that took me in all those many, many years ago was. They found me with a cook with a cooking knife. Hmm. I was wrapped up all nice in a nice blanket that was embroidered with a cooking knife. That's all I know. The rest is oh, in literal history. Like they stitched it in or like you were holding a cooking knife? Oh no. Oh like it was on the blanket and they also packed me with one. There was also the letters CR engraved on the, uh, in the embroidered knife. Well, that I didn't know. They sold the knife. <gasps> Loki, you know what this means? What? It means that you were born to be a chef. No. Yeah. No, CR stands for Cook criminal. Right. Renegade. <laughs> criminal renegade, exactly. No, it stands for cook right. Look, I'm going to if teach anything, you how to cook right. Or Chef Look, if Ramsay. Anything, if anything, it stands for <gasps> Chef Ramsay, Morgan. Be tormented. Wait, I'm related no, to your no, demon. No! <laughs> I'm related <laughs> to your inner demon. He just starts holding his head. He's like, no, no, not Chef Ramsay. <laughs> I'm going no! to put my fingers on my throat to kind of, kind of squeeze it a little. I'm going to do my best. It's fucking raw! <laughs> 
No! Chef Ramsay, I'm so sorry! Cry. <laughs> this t- at this point, Loki busts out laughing. Yeah, I'm literally dying of laughter at this point once I see you freak out. The fuck? Oh, that's not right, Loki. You were, you were cruel. Yeah, and? I thought we were friends. We are friends, but you were making fun of me. I wasn't trying to. Well, I felt insulted and I need an apology right now. I'm sorry that I called you a goat people. Yeah, you better. That sorry, I what? You a, <laughs> that I called you a goat people. No, I was doing the, the what? I'm sorry, Chef. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Chef. Um, but yeah, I still think I should put the ring on, though. I want to see if it'll talk to me. Because, Loki, it might just be because Rebecca's dead, you know? So, it could like, be because she's dead. If there's another little Wait, person. Have we gotten our quota today? I think we just did. Okay. Hey, Rebecca, you're dead. I'm not dead. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm going to go find the butler and ask if I can use the ring. Okay. And we're going to walk down the hall and look for the head butler. I am I am just going to lay down on the couch or seat or whatever's here and just get cozy and try to fall asleep. You lay down on the duvet. Yes, on the duvet. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think unless there's anything else... Or we can do the ring. Um... He gets... Morgan, you come back with the ring. You're gonna have to spend an hour to attune to it. Okay. Throw the ring, do you have Frodo! It, do you have any attunement slots? Throw the ring, um, Mr. Frodo. No. How do I... How do I... What are things that require attunement? Uh, does your knuckle duster? No. No. Does your good luck stone? I know you have that, and I know you have the amulet of the drunk. I have a ring of protection and the good l- and the stone of good luck. I think those are both attunement. And the amulet st- of the drunkard is not from the looks of it. Okay, so from what I could gather, you might have one free slot left. I th- I think so. Yeah. Uh, I have the illuminator statue, but I think I unattuned from that a while ago. Yeah, I'd have to, cause, cause I never ended up using it. it it's not the, I just I'm stupid and I didn't know what to use it for. So I think I unattuned a while back. Cause the lantern does the lantern require attunement? Well, the kind of lantern is it a lantern revealing? Probably yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, it is. I don't think it requires attunement. Yeah, no, it doesn't say. It, does. it doesn't okay. no. Yeah, you only have two things that you're attuned to. Yeah, so I have the ring and the stone, so if I'm able to do another ring on my other hand, if I, I don't know how attunement slots work. Yeah. Uh, you get three of them, and despite, no matter how many levels you go through, except artificers, you get six at one point. Or which, there which is adds the, to your um, saving throws. <laughs> there's also a boon that gives you an extra attunement slot, I believe. Yes. Bruce out here with them eight attunement slots be like, howdy. Howdy. Oh. Um, so yeah, he'll he'll spend the hour to attune to it. Okay, do we, uh, Loki's laying down. Rebecca, is there anything you want to do during that hour? Um. Or Loki? Uh, nope, I'm going to sleep. And I'm actually going to re- Actually, you know what, I'll reattune to the, uh, masquerade tattoo, so that way I can do this guy's self again. I'll wait for mm-hmm. Andromeda to come back. Uh, I'll it's... wait for the hour to be up to bring Andromeda back. Same okay. design as I always do, except now there's, like, a little... A look, a little uh, pendant in like the middle of the tattoo that just says CR for Chef Ramsay to scare Morgan a little. Oh no! Okay. It's so cruel. It's gonna be it for me. All right, we're gonna we're gonna end after this ring anyway. Okay. Um. Okay, you attune to the ring. Alrighty. Um, I'll like, I guess, say in my head, uh, hi. Do I smell good? There is no response. He waits a little bit. Morgan looks constipated to y'all, by the way. 
because he's like thinking the words real hard. Yeah, yeah, he's thinking really hard, and then he just, just goes. Picture Chug standing there trying to like to take a poop. <laughs> he's just like, uh, I'm not, uh, dead like Rebecca, but I'm living like Loki. So, living you... Lobita Loki. <laughs> living Lobita Loki. He goes, uh, um. Do you only talk to living people? Or do you only talk to those who are descendants of Chef Ramsay? There is no response. <laughs> After a bit, he'll just give up and he'll stop looking constipated and just look kind of disappointed. And he'll just shrug his shoulders. And uh, I guess if it doesn't I... say anything... Oh, I will say, you're the only one that knows there's no response. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Alright. Um, he'll, uh, he'll take it off and I guess unattuned from it. <laughs> give it to Rebecca? <laughs> yeah, he'll give it back to Rebecca. Uh, so, any luck? Hmm? Oh. Yeah. You lying cow. <laughs> Inside Morgan, check. What, what did he that. say, Morgan? Why a lying cow? That's just rude. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> <laughs> Should I even bother? <laughs> yeah, because if you also roll in that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I mean, it didn't even have to be net one because net ones don't matter on skill checks. Uh... <laughs> what, what, what did he say, Morgan? He said that he can only commune with beings who are living. So he probably talked to you, Tia. Unless that's Rebecca speaking to me. Uh, not Rebecca. Um, and John is speaking to me right now. Yeah, Shine Sprite. There you go. Um... Give me a couple of tries. <laughs> Rebecca, you think he's telling the truth about him talking to him? Him being talked to? But when he gives this answer to uh to Tia. Uh that that doesn't sound right, Morgan. And also, Rebecca, you remember trying to talk to him before you died. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. You lying cow. <laughs> what what's what's that supposed to mean? Uh, nothing nothing um it's not a personal insult to you, Tia. It's more like a it's a it's a it's a human saying. It's cause cows are chunky. I I, I heard it back in the record. <laughs> what? No, I, look. Definitely. Besides, how would you know, Rebecca? Did you did you try talking to him? Yes. When you were alive? Yes. Oh, he must not have liked you then. I mean, Morgan, it, it kind of seemed like you were lying. All right, I'll be honest. He didn't say anything like that. I did the old, you know, the old duping trick. Basically, I put the ring on. I waited a little bit. I said hello. He didn't say nothing back. And then you, I you said, look constipated too. <laughs> yeah. And then I said, if you're gay, say nothing. And then he said, I'm not gay. And I said, okay. <laughs> with you. I feel like I should just leave now. <laughs> what? <laughs> I vote we kill Morgan. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a later date. But yeah, so that's that's what happened. Mhm. Mm what? Just because I fibbed the first time doesn't mean that I lied the second time. Mhm. Mm
insight check on the second time. <laughs> God damn it. He's... He, he, you see, he's like casting his eyes around. He's not being truthful. <laughs> However, Tia completely believes him. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I cast Pocket Sand. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I guess at fourth level. Uh, what? So that's the only way it would affect him. So that's uh. That's if you even roll enough on the D10. Yeah. Uh, so so six level. D10. So I add plus... another. You add another six D10. So twelve D10. So it's twelve D10. Pocket sand. It's not enough. <laughs> It's not enough. Yeah. He's, he's too big. What the? Why are you throwing <laughs> sand at me? <laughs> Rebecca, what have I ever done to you? Lie? Well, besides that. Tell everyone I'm dead? Besides that. I mean, that's, that's a lie, so that kind of falls under the first one. Yeah, see? Yep. Mm hmm. So, besides that. <laughs> I, I cooked for you. I Wait, did I get you a present yet? No, it's not my birthday. I make him piss his pants. What? <laughs> oh my god. What? I, I didn't do this. <laughs> There's a big old wet spot on the front of your trousers. I, I didn't do this. I swear, I only do that when I'm piss drunk. That's why it's <laughs> called piss drunk. You piss yourself. <laughs> I also make him shit himself. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alright, fine, fine, fine. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> what you gonna do? Piss and shit. <laughs> I put the ring on. I said hello. It said hello back. That was it. Didn't say anything I else. cover his face and vomit. Oh. What? <laughs> You're gonna make me sick. Oh. Stop. <laughs> it's not really vomit, but it's it, you make it wet and dirty. Ugh. I fine. It didn't say anything. I put the ring on, and it didn't say anything to me. I just thought it would be funny if you thought that you were the only person that wasn't able to talk to the voice inside the ring. But it is mildly concerning that it only likes to speak to Loki. I know. I don't like it either. Maybe Loki's just crazy. I am not crazy, Shine Sprite. Ooh, that, that could was be Tia. the case. I, I am not Andromeda crazy. is Tia. back, though, so... We do have one other option, though, right? Tia, you can do, like, spells and stuff that bring people back from beyond the grave, right? I don't think we should do that on this thing. Tia just goes, if they've been dead for a minute. Well, no, 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 no. Like, um, what's that one where you speak with something that isn't living anymore? Speak, speak with, with dead. dead. You need the corpse. Oh. Do you? Yeah, you do. You need, you, no, you you need, need, you the need corpse a, needs to be at, the head. Yeah, at, at least the head. Or okay. some part of the body that can speak. What if we like, capable of speech. took the ring and put it on like a severed goat head on like the goat's horn? Good night, Morgan. And then spoke to it? I don't think really? the goat can attune to it because it's dead. Can goats even attune to anything? Do goats, do beasts have a two minute slots? Alright, I'm out of ideas. More? That's the end of the session, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, case. last action, I will clean Morgan for telling the truth. That's sweet. Hey, you yeah. can have your ring back, I'm done with this thing. <laughs>